y'all feeling today? It's a Friday. You made it. Hold up. First things first. I got um a cute new uh shirt next yesterday. So it's getting its debut on stream today, and you guys have to compliment it whether you like it or not, okay? <laughs> That's the deal here. All right, so I got this new sweater and I love it. I found it randomly, but it kind of like, I like it. The buttons are really cute. They're like little flowers. And it's my favorite color. <laughs> So, like, you literally can't go wrong. The color is my favorite color, so... Okay, so here's the story. So yesterday I went to my P.O. box only for the Adachi pin to not be there, by the way. So I went to my P.O. box. The Adachi pin had actually not shipped yet, so it lied to me. So what I did was I ended up going out to a thrift store to find some shoes for dancing because I still have to make all of the P3 cosplays. So I'm at the point where I'm starting to put together all the P3 cosplays. Um, with the intention of finding more shoes to dance in, I found this. And I like how I walked into the thrift store and I went, like the cashier, I went to the cashier and I was like, I want that shirt on the mannequin because this was hanging on the mannequin. I just, I was like, I just want that. Also, <laughs> Thank you for the hundred. So I was like, I want that on the mannequin. And uh, she's like, okay, do you want to try it on? And I'm like, no. <laughs> I didn't care if it was too small. I didn't care if it was too big. I just wanted it. <laughs> I didn't look at the size. I didn't look at how much it was. I didn't look at anything. I just bought it on impulse. <laughs> <laughs> that is like such a me thing if I find something that I really really like in clothing I'm just gonna buy it dude I'm not looking at the price I'm not looking at jack shit I just said like I pointed at it and I said me want and I got it and I think it was worth it because like this is cute and I love this color it's my favorite color so I can deny it I literally can't deny it <sighs> but that being said, I actually did find a pair of dancing shoes. You ready for this? So me going to the thrift store actually did successfully find a pair of shoes that looked very much like Yukari. And yes, they were $40. The tag is still on them. But $40 is pretty good. It's a thrift shop, so like... This is, this is pretty dang good. I'm gonna take these tags off. I, I actually, I didn't even, um, hmm. I, I didn't try on the shoes. <laughs> I should probably make sure they fit. <laughs> oh God, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. I just realized I didn't try these shoes on. I just bought them because they looked like Yukari's shoes, man. Ah, Jesus Christ, I'm a mess. They, they do justice, like they really do look like Yukari shoes. So like they got the, they got the flap down, which is what I was looking for. And they got enough of a boot, but like I was looking for the, the flap down here. Cause that's what Yukari shoe looks like. So I found a good base for the shoe. Now I just gotta, you know, paint them and stuff. But yeah, I should probably, I'm, I'm gonna try this on. I did, I did not actually try it on. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I dance in it. It's gonna be fine. So anyway, that was my day yesterday. I hope you guys are doing great. <laughs> I found Yukari shoes and I actually bought Yukari fabric for her shirt um, over the weekend. So I'm working on Yukari. All of these P3 characters are going to take me a while. The costumes are uh, a lot more involved than P4 and P5. <laughs> So patience, please have patience with my P3 dancing ones. They're going to be a lot harder for me to do. But hey, I'm glad that the shoes fit. I'm going to take this tag off of off it now. Cool. 
So Yukari base shoes, let's go! I have to take off like this big badge. No one wants to see this badge of shit. Like no one wants to know it's palladium. I don't even know that brand. So anyway, I'm working on a lot of stuff. Also, also I can show you another thing that I'm working on. I got a lot of things that I'm working on. <laughs> So I'm working on the Jack Frost sweaters. I can't do much because I'm waiting on fabric to come in and also in special embroidery embellishments uh, to come in in the mail. But I'm working on Dom's sweater now so you can kind of see the Jack Frost here. But you guys want to see the Habino's pattern? Oh my God, it's not, you won't be able to see like the full thing, but. So yesterday I also made the Nahabino sweater pattern. And look how tiny it is. <laughs> this is Nahabino's sweater size. It's so tiny. This is tinier than even a baby. He's so small. <laughs> and his sleeves are this small. That's a sleeve. So small. Look, the sleeve goes just like that. So I made this pattern yesterday for Nahabino. The sweater is literally just in the starting phases. Uh, we're in the white phase <laughs> where there's no detail or anything, but it takes a while to create patterns uh, and also cut out fabric. So I'm on that stage right now, but it is just hysterical to see this like tiny ass sweater. I'm not used to making clothes this tiny. I've never made clothes for like a doll before and I'm about to know the pain of it, that's for sure. Beano sweater, look at a little Beano sweater. That's so good. <laughs> Hopefully by the end of the weekend, I will have all of the Jack Frost designing on the sweaters for all three of us. But yeah, woo, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff where we're being worked on right now. Sweaters, dancing, cosplays. Oh, I also, oh wait, I can't reveal that yet. Never mind. Um, I'm working on another thing that I can't talk about yet. <laughs> oh man, and I only streamed like, you know, not long ago, 16 hours ago. <laughs> so much has happened. Whee! But anyway, so another thing that happened in an exchange of DMs, I have acquired uh, three codes to give away today for Finding Paradise. We played this really cute, amazing indie game on stream like a few months ago. I think it was like two months ago that I played To the Moon and Finding Paradise. And I have three codes to give away. They have provided me with Switch codes. So they are Switch, and I believe they are specifically North American codes. Uh, let me check that to make sure. I think that all Switch codes are region locked of some sort. So it might just be North American code. Give me a sec. <clears throat> yeah, they are Nintendo Switch North American codes for Finding Paradise that I have. So I'll be giving those away at random times today. Hmm. Are you feeling better from yesterday? Physically? Yeah, yesterday, physically yesterday, I felt so weird. I was actually like getting concerned during stream, but I tried not to show it. Um, but yeah, like there was a point yesterday during, like it was like toward the end of the stream where I just got hit with a wave of feeling extremely lightheaded. And it was just really strange. I mean, it, it went away. Like, I didn't feel anything after that, but like, I, it was, I felt weird, man. But yeah, I haven't felt that since yesterday during the stream, so I, I think I'm okay. But that was like kind of concerning. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Alan. You're great. Thank you so much for checking in here and making sure we're okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> Um, also, Scarlet Rose, thank you so much for the 20 months. I appreciate it. Would you consider to share Bino's pattern so we can send him new clothes? Oh my god. Um, I guess 
so? That would be so weird. You got, I guess? Y'all are more than welcome to make Nahabino clothing. Uh, I, I guess I could like publish his measurements and the pattern that I made, I suppose. If you really want to make clothing for him, I would not say no. <laughs> but that's just, I didn't think anybody would want to do that. <laughs> Another work shift. Another mm. Christmas tree, just like it has to be. Oh yeah, I've been feeling well in general. Um, uh, thank you so much for the 100 bits, Bunker. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Another work shift. I hope Tim is doing good today, Bunker. Um, but yeah, no, like health-wise, I've been fine. Uh, so yeah, yesterday just felt weird for like the day, but yeah, that was weird to get hit with like a wave. I don't, I don't want to say it was nausea. <clears throat> it might have been like a form of nausea, but. It's like my head felt like it was on a cl like it was so airy. I don't know how to describe that feeling, but that's what it felt man, like. Man, 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 man. Like there was no weight to it. Thank you for the hundred. I appreciate it. You're probably almost done with Innocent Sin and you're loving it. Hey, Alan, you can. No, you won't be able to watch the stream by the time that we're done with Eternal Punishment. <laughs> but don't rush, don't rush through the game. I just hope that you enjoy it. <laughs> you want, you want to make him a hat, a hat now? Because his head is so big. You want to make Nahabino a hat? Oh my god. Y'all. That's wild! Um, you've been learning to dance, and uh, your sneakers are not really built for it. Are there any sneakers or dance shoes for dancing that you recommend? That is such a weird question to me, because yes, there are dancing shoes in particular that are out there, but holy hell, I haven't had to think about that in a while because I'm so used to dancing barefoot. Like, my feet are conditioned to dance barefoot, so I forget these things now. Um, like, I have dancing shoes, but whenever I'm actually in a dancing studio, I dance barefoot. Um, whenever it's actually proper flooring. Like, at a dance studio, usually the flooring is marley, is what we call it. And, uh, yeah. I have calluses all over my feet, so I always spit dance barefoot because my feet are basically their own shoes at this point. Um, <clears throat> there are like, like I'll wear them on stream like this. This is a dancing shoe. Usually you could tell because there's no uh, middle. So like they can actually fold. They're usually two soled. So you only have them on the heel and the toe. But I actually don't recommend dancing in shoes like this. Um, usually this specific man, purpose man, of shoe man, is just for man, jazz. Man, man. I have the luxury of listening while watching one of my co-workers having to pick up pieces from the floor. You see a robot arm decided to eat a full tray of electronic parts <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> Thank you for that, your bits, I appreciate it. So yeah, I do wear my dance shoes like around the house sometimes just because I really like two to I, I like two sold shoes and I like having a flexible arch. This also has a really high arch on the foot, um, which I particularly really like because uh, I have high arches in my feet. So I like having this like really good arch support. But um, yeah, I actually don't recommend dancing in uh, actual like dance shoes. These are very specifically uh, usually for jazz like dip, there are shoes for every style of dance so it makes it hard to answer the question like if i'm giving you a legitimate answer there are jazz shoes there are like three different types of jazz shoes by the way and there's also ballet shoes there's also tap shoes there's also ballroom shoes there's a there, ballroom shoes character shoes is also another th genre like ballroom shoes are not always the same as character shoes um so i guess like to answer your question i need to know what style of dance you're learning <laughs> that's why i usually go barefoot because barefoot you know i don't need all these different styles of shoes <laughs> but there's a shoe for every style 
bare feet is the best. <clears throat> um, yeah, okay, so like, my dance teachers, every single one of them throughout my entire career have always yelled at me for dancing in socks. I still do it to this day, only to keep my feet warm. Um, but you're not, it is strongly not encouraged to dance in socks. We do it anyway, but teachers will always yell at you. Like, you, you, you shouldn't be dancing in socks. But, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> it's not a good habit. If you're dancing in socks, it is not a good habit for your feet. Your feet should be getting you, like, if you're dancing, especially as a profession, you should get used to dancing barefoot. Socks. How do I describe it? Like, socks make your feet less strong. You want your feet to get used to being bare. That is the best. But that's also on a really professional level. Like, you don't need to worry about it if you're if dance is not your profession. <laughs> oh my god, thank you, Thunder Fits. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I could give so many tips on dancing, man. I, should I just dedicate a whole video to dance questions? <laughs> like, um, yeah, like, dance can be really complicated, especially like because there's so many genres of dance and I could give tips for every genre and like how to dress, how to train properly, how to prepare, like, there's, there's a lot. Even learning dance from the Persona games, even getting into hip hop and street. Okay, um, technically, the shoes I'm wearing now are also dance shoes. These shoes uh, are specifically hip hop shoes. Um, I have never actually worn them as hip hop shoes, but they are. That is actually the purpose of these shoes that I'm wearing right now. Um, <clears throat> Uh, it's hard to know the difference of shoes and what makes them different, what makes a hip-hop shoe. Where I got these was actually in a dance shop, so I know the build of these shoes is made for hip-hop. Um, even though they really don't look like it, but they are. Um, it go- I cannot recommend it enough, just go to a physical store. Um, especially because they would answer a lot of your questions. Like if you go, if you have a dance store near you or even like an online store where they break this stuff down for you. Um, Cause like you don't just buy running shoes and call them hip hop shoes. Uh, you need to go to like actual dance wear shops for that. Um, like I used to have this, this store in Pittsburgh that I used to go all the time to. It's infamous, it's called Tight Spot. It's like the place to get dance shoes and clothing and yeah, they have like a whole line of hip hop shoes there. So uh, yeah, if you're looking for dance shoes, literally go in this specific online dance store or better yet, go to a physical store if you are able to. This is quite a weird tip. <gasps> no, the button, no! This is my brand new shirt, why? No, the button, the, the, the button, I need to stitch it back on. Oh my God, no, this button is so cute. I'm playing with it too much. The button on the bottom. No. Oh no. Oh no. Panic. Everybody panic. Hold on. Hold on. I can fix this. With the power of being a master stitcher. Okay. Uh, purple thread. Purple thread, I got it. Same color thread. Oh my God. I always am prepared for these kinds of disasters. I have all this like little baby threads. Okay. Oh my God, live. Oh my God, on a live stream, repairing my button right here, right now. Oh my God. This is a disaster. Oh my God, I just bought this sweater. I can't, the button, it has to go back on. Oh my god, oh my god. This is intense, this is really intense. I need it. I need to get this fucking button back on my shirt right now. I feel lost without it. Oh my god, I feel like a, I feel like shit. 
I feel like complete shit. Got it, got it, fuck it. Oh my god, oh my god. Sorry, this is, this is, this is crucial. I need to do this right now. If I don't, holy shit, my, my whole life, my whole life is over. I gotta fix it, I gotta fix it. You don't understand how important this is, chat. Streamer fails, no! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so calm under pressure. Ah! <laughs> Okay, okay. We're fine, chat. We're fine. We're fine. Nobody panic. You're not panicking. I know you're not panicking, chat. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Fix it. See, this is why it's important to learn how to stitch. You can just fix your own clothing on the fly. Important skills and very important skills. Okay, all right, I'm saving it as we speak. How are you doing, chat? <laughs> Unrelated question, but it's fun seeing you on 14 when you're running around doing stuff. Oh, you, oh. Man, man, it's man, funny, some man, people do recognize man, me in 14, but uh, hi, if you've seen me. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits, I appreciate it. Okay, okay, it's being fixed. Don't worry, guys. I can't just leave my my sh my sweater unbuttoned, you know? Like, fuck, I gotta fix this shit. Just don't iron your clothes while you're wearing it? What? Wait, why would... Please don't tell me that somebody in this chat has done that. Ch chat, you haven't done that. You've never, like, ironed your clothes? While you're wearing them. Please. Hmm. I mean, I can understand steaming your clothes while you're wearing them. Don't do that, by the way. I'm just saying I can understand that man, a little man, bit more. Kanji would be proud, damn it. <laughs> Kanji would be proud of me. No. <laughs> I'm gonna fix that button on you right now, man. Kanji, by the way. Your button's loose. I gotta fix that. Kind of forgot that he actually did that. I am actually kanji right now as we speak. I did not sew that button the proper way, by the way. Do not learn from me. That was not the proper way, but it's on. And the stream is saved. Look at that, everybody. I saved the entire stream. Okay. I can actually play video games. Man, 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 man. Talk to you would have done it the proper way. To oh my god. Thank you for the hunch. What do you mean Tadzio would have done it the proper way? Where is the thingy? Oh, there it is. Whoa! The button is gonna be all right. The button is on there very strongly. So it ain't going anywhere, buddy. All right, back to normal streaming hours. I forget what I was talking about before that catastrophe happened. The surgery is a success. The button is on. <laughs> oh man, but you know what? You know what we can do right now? I can give away one of the codes. So I'm giving away three codes today throughout the stream. I'll give away one right now. Let me get Nightbot set up here. So if you would like Finding Paradise, that's the code I'm giving away. The game, find the indie game Finding Paradise. Um, it just got released today on mobile, Switch, uh, I forget the other thing, PC, I think it's, oh, it's always been on Steam, oh my God. But it just got released on the Switch and mobile. So I'm giving away a North American Switch code. So you have to be North American region to to redeem this switch code, okay? So keep that in mind as you, or if you just like wanna win it for a friend that you have in NA that you really want them to play the game, you can do that too. But I really like Finding Paradise and I really wanna support this indie company, so. 
I'm doing this completely for free. <laughs> they just gave me the codes and I was like, yeah, your game was precious and I really like supporting indie developers. So like, yeah, of course. Also, um, yeah, so the, the new Finding Paradise that just got released, it, they basically remade the game in Unity Engine. So it's not through uh, the, well, I guess the base is still RPG Maker, but yeah, they redid it in Unity Engine. So it is revamped. <clears throat> Also, I did dis uh, disregard the Surfshark uh, offer, by the way. We're done with Surfshark. Maybe for the time being, but they haven't made me a new offer. Uh, so yeah, ignore, ignore Nightbot. <clears throat> How did I join just as a giveaway is happening? <sighs> well, you have impeccable timing, clearly. Um, giveaways, there's the thing. Okay. All right, since the game is called Finding Paradise, here you go. Uh, exclamation point. Oh God, there we go. Exclamation point paradise in the chat. If you would like to win a North American Switch code for Finding Paradise. 10 out of 10 would recommend this game. It is absolutely precious if you haven't played it before. It's a really, really good game. I mean, the VPN shills might come back, but yeah. We'll see. We'll see what Surfshark does. Their offer is a little bit too low. It's like insulting to me right now. Uh. <clears throat> I do love them as a product though, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna draw it in like 10 seconds here. They only provided me with NA codes. I'm sorry, chat. But again, if you have a friend that you have an NA that you would like to give the code to that has a switch, can enter and give it away there too. I know most of you are European though, yeah, because I do stream in the morning. Actually, speaking of, I'm switching the game up on you, chat. Because, uh, oh wait, let me let me roll this. Mushrooey! Congratulations. If you could shoot me an email being like you won the... Hi, I won the switch code and I will give you that code right after stream, okay? Uh, my business email is listed below, I believe, in the about me section and also on my Twitter. <clears throat> you could just create an NA account. You could also do that, but it's, a, it's kind of like a pain in the ass. Uh, wait, Mushri, are you here? Make sure you say something. Okay, there you go. I was like, wait, you have to see that you want it. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Congratulations, Mushri. Congratulations, congrats. <clears throat> All right, but I have two more codes to give away. Those will be at random points in today's stream, okay? Good, good. Y'all are so cute. Yeah, just make sure, don't forget to send me an email because uh, I'm getting a lot of like people that are winning giveaways and then not emailing me for the prize. I'm like, I'm not gonna hunt you down. <laughs> if you forget, that's on you. <clears throat> Have been getting that quite a bit. All right, but anywho, what I wanted to say was uh, I'm gonna be changing the game up, okay? Because next week, I am planning to do two evening streams instead of the morning streams. So next week, I'm gonna be doing three days in the morning and normal time, two streams evening. I know this will upset some people because you might miss a stream, but I wanna try doing some evening streams here and there. I'm sorry, I really do wanna do that. <clears throat> 3 a.m. stream because uh, I know that there is a lot of like NA viewers that would like to watch me and also cannot. Uh, this goes for like other time zones as well. So uh, I want to like try to make different viewers happy in different time zones. So I don't I think my stream would start around like 
5 p.m. ET, because I'm in Eastern Time. So that's basically seven hours later than my normal stream. So normally I start at 10 o'clock, so I would start at 5 o'clock. <clears throat> so I think it also depends on my schedule next week. So the current plan is definitely Monday. So Monday is going to be an evening stream. Oh, wait, I can only do one evening stream next week. I lied. I think I can only do it Monday. I can't do it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. I'm not I'm not streaming next Friday because I'm out. Never mind. One stream. It's Monday. <laughs> so Monday will be an evening stream and then the rest of the week will be normal 10 a.m. You're lucky. Hmm. <clears throat> Yes, Monday will be a test evening stream. Well, not test. I think I want to try to do like one, at least one or two streams a week in the evening time, but still keep my main morning schedule. Um, yeah, it's hard. It's hard. I do want to try different things. Either way, all of the VODs will still be uploaded on my YouTube channel. All the same. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> no, not Indie Game Mondays. Indie Game will be coming back, but at the current time, on a, on a little hiatus. My god. Alright, I don't know about you guys, but I am very eager to, uh, to play today. So, uh, we're gonna just jump right into Persona 2, okay? Same as normal, so like same games that I would normally stream. So Monday, uh, Monday would be Persona 2. Unless we like, you know, magically beat the game today, we're just gonna beat the entire game. Just kidding. We're very not close to the, I, I know that we got like a lot of game left, so. Also today is Friday, so it is a couch stream, but I think that's for later. Last week I was pretty upset because I forgot it was Couch Stream Friday. Today, we're not forgetting it. What's that? 14 on Monday? <laughs> Don't do this to me. I miss 14 so much. Uh... I play it all the time, but I miss streaming it. So y'all are killing me right now. I used to stream 14 as my main thing for three years. Three years! That's all I streamed was Final Fantasy 14 until I became a variety broadcaster again. <sighs> anyway. Do we need a couch emote? We just did a subathon. There's no way I'm unlocking another emote slot for a long time, man. As awesome as that would be, but. Well, maybe I'll throw in a chill 14 stream here and there. Maybe, maybe. <clears throat> Do you guys are, are you guys like actually trying to derail me? You guys are purposely trying to get me to like talk, like we had a Fire Emblem rant a few days ago and now you want me to have like a 14 rant. It's not happening. No, we're playing video games. Is 14 worth it? Yes. <laughs> she says yes. Does not further elaborate. Anyway, so um, we are jumping hot into Persona 2 right now. Because uh, we made it to the dock here. We are chasing Tatsia down. Uh, and also chasing the bad guy, Kandori. The bad guy, I say. Oh my god. And Tatsuzo as well. But, or Tatsuyasudo. All of the above. Everybody in this game sucks. But, except Katsuya. I love. 
<laughs> yesterday was really spicy though. That's uh, ain't that the truth? Yesterday was a spicy day. Oh, we got Wall of Flame and we have Heat Wave. So yeah, we're doing we're doing pretty good. Our personas are also really strong right now, minus Maya, but we don't talk about that. <clears throat> it is critically acclaimed for a reason. That is true. Final Fantasy fourteen is critically acclaimed. Whew. All right. Are you guys ready for some action? Because, bitch, we about to get it. Whether you guys want to or not. So here we are at the docks chasing down the one, the only, Tatia. I'm actually quite nervous about what's going to happen in the story. <sighs> but we gotta do it sometime, so here we go. Hey, look over there! There's still one left! Shit, Tatsuzo's trying to sink the ship. Tatsuya's voice. Get on that sub and get out of here! Is that you, Tatsuya? You only have a le learner's permit. You can't drive that thing. It's dangerous. Katia is worried about a learner's permit whenever we are about to die. Bitch. We're gonna die! Who cares if you know how to drive or not? You gotta do it to live! Idiot, what are you babbling about? Get your ass over here! Who are you calling an idiot? You, you're actually being an idiot right now, Katsuya. Get in the fucking boat. <laughs> I think Tatsuya's motorcycle license is enough. It's fine. What's the difference? Looks like we're almost there. We're actually underground. So this must be the undersea ruins. I don't see anything, but nothing. I see an empty void. Oh, God! Tatia? Whoa. No one's here now. Tatia must have gone inside. It seems that Tatia isn't in it anymore. He must have done this. What a punk. And to top it off, he's smart as well. He destroyed their only way out. He's got some mad skills. Tatsuya? Holy shit, dude. Say, did those ruins appear because of rumors too? Or has it always been here? I don't know what's real or not anymore. I can feel it. Kandori is here. Young boy. He's a dangerous man. Don't get ahead of yourself. Scary. I don't know if this is like another dungeon. Probably, but we'll see. <clears throat> oh, okay. Oh, I thought I was going for a boss fight and here it is, just another dungeon. Oh, Leviathan! Hello! You fear anything? Mother. Hello, Leviathan. Better than Soul Actors too. Oh God. 
Ah, oh, the joke. It is the joke that never ends. Oh god, more stairs? Alright, what do we got going on here? It's been a hot minute. I mean, Soul Hackers 2 can be a uh, Silent Hill 2 if you so wish to call it. Also, why do you block everything? A what, Ali? Well, that's very rude. Man, okay. Um, no, let's just. Okay, okay. It's a little bit concerning. Let's just change our target to be the other guys and then we'll change what we do later. Barbatos! Actually, go with the straight slash on that guy. Shadow Hearts 2, Sonic Shadow the Hedgehog 2. Kingdom Hearts. Y'all are awful. Okay, we got one more guy left, and I think only physical attacks work on him. Just everybody. Um, all attack. This button is actually useful for once. Oh, the insta-kill guy, Katya! Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, Nanjo leveled up at least. CPU architecture called Super H2. I read that as CMU, and uh, yeah, wow, we are all just like thinking other things today. Because my brother went to CMU, so I don't, I didn't read CPU, CPU as C, I read it as CMU. Also, what the fuck? I don't know where I'm going. I feel like Cert is such an appropriate demon for Katsuya to have right now. How do you feel about the nominees? Ah, it's about what it, I expected it to be, like nothing surprising. <clears throat> I don't really care much for the game awards and the awards themselves. I care more about the game announcements that they come out with <laughs> during the game awards. I don't think the game awards are shit. I think it's a nice event for the gaming community to have. I actually, I don't see it as shit at all. It's always nice to have any kind of celebration, especially in the gaming world. I feel like we don't have a lot. <laughs> but the announcements are the better, the better part for sure. <clears throat> but I do see it as a good thing. Hmm. <clears throat> I know you're calling me, Kandori. Wait for me. I shall put an end to your ambition once and for all. Pitfalls, still better than Soul Hackers 2. Damn right, buddy. The Velvet Room. No, I'm good. I really don't like these enemies. I'm just gonna run. And they just like insta killed Katsuya and Beofu. Those enemies are just not fun to fight, straight up.
What? If both sides are pit... Oh my god! They made me feel like I was at Kandori because of what Nanjo said. I basically just got super baited. Ugh. Woo. Thank you, chat, by the way. I don't think we have uh, mods around yet. So the cleaning is very helpful. treasure room. I want to get in the treasure room. Hey, just break down the fucking door. How hard is that? They sleeping? Hey, mods deserve sleep. We're doing- we've been doing pretty good. Like, the clean mode has, uh, has been helping a lot, though. Why is this fish not dying? Okay, but as I said that, it died. Cool. Oh, there's hope. There, we got a mount. We got a mod around. Fuck this fish. Why is he biting Katya? Oh, Jesus. Wait, so that's this whole area? So what in the fuck am I... Okay. Interesting. Oh, this is a tunnel. I was wondering why it looked funny. Oh, Jesus. Damn. Ah, uh, thank you, chat. Oh God, not this guy. Maybe, uh, what's the one in the back? tunnel leading to a trap chest. This game is very nice. So there is an upstairs, and I guess we're supposed to go around to avoid both of those pitfalls. So we go up and around. Damn. Do janitors get any benefits? Um, you get my love and affection. That should be a lot. Ugh, I don't want to talk to you. Am I drowning? Yes, you're drowning. I don't want to do this, Nanjo. Just like talk some shit or something. Talk some shit. Oh, he actually likes Beofu. I didn't want his cards. Where are we going? Oh, the crit. Holy shit. Maya almost got deleted. Yeah, BTTV, you need to see the emote for those that are wondering, yeah. Holy shit, this is such a weird 
dungeon. I guess it makes sense. Like these are, these are actually ruins. So shit is like fallen and caved in and all the paths are, it, it actually makes sense for it to be annoying, which in itself is equally annoying. Don't kill my boyfriend. Who brings a persona to a gunfight? Crystal does. Everybody who plays this game has to, I believe. Huh. Ooh, what are you? Oh, Cataplepis! So they're not on all fours. Here, let's, uh, Nanjo, go. I, I want this one. Oh. Where are you delicious? My brain, because he's so smart. Beofu, go. Oh, okay, Katia, go. Oh, he likes Katia. Nice. Hmm. <clears throat> Killing everybody but the two poisoned bitches, hoping that they just die. Oh, oh boy. All right, pitfall here. Oh, and in front of me too. At least it's not like too far of an annoying run back, but let's uh, let's recruit more Cato Blepis. Eternal poison is back. Wait, you liked Katia before. What's going on? Okay. You really, how old? I'm a 16 year old hottie. I'm only 24, how rude. You respond sassy. Yeah, sassy is a good thing. forgot to move my ass. God damn it. <sighs> okay. Oh, great. A fish. I should have looked at the floor plan. If you look at the floor plan, you know exactly where to run, which is right here. Please kill me. Maya's dead. Nanjo's dead. Perfect. This is the best outcome. Catoblipus is anti-sass. I can't believe this. This is terrible. Okay. So here would be the treasure room below me. So in theory, I actually want to find a pitfall here, I think. Oh, Nanjo's asleep again. Why is this bitch always asleep during battle? Ah. <sighs> Uh, wait. 
Someone posted this this morning. Oh my god. Giga Suo Chad. Oh my god. Wait, uh, uh, the, the name is too long, whoever made it. It just needs to be like Suo Chad or even just Chad. But go ahead, have your fun. Go ahead, Chad, go ahead. Enjoy. I'm a 16 year old hottie. Item box is empty. Fuck you. What am I doing? Oh my god. This is Suo Chad. <gasps> this takes me all the way back here. Oh, that is actually really cruel. That means I have to go all the way around. Alright, game. Fuck you, too. Oh, right in front of the staircase, too. Yikes. Actually, where did I fall? All of those are gonna be pitfalls, probably. There is no... there is no escaping that. I think I'll just maybe not go for the bait of the stairs. Best emote? Oh my god. If chat's happy, I'm happy. A whole video? Oh my god. Well, I don't do meme videos like that, but, you know, if there's a memester out there who wants free content to make, there you go. Tatsuo Suo is just like built different, man. He really do be built different. God, this undersea ruins. Shit. I have to go all the way back through this. Holy hell. Let's try contacting. Man, man. Actually, what, let's get one more Catablupus. I lied. I'm gonna get this one. Um, thank you for the hundred. Virgin you, Chad Sui. Oh my god. Nanjo, go! You need to shut your mouth. Holy shit. He hated Nanjo. Why do you, what are you trying to do by getting, making me angry? To see you upset. Any of my expressions are beautiful. Oh my god. That's such a weird response. How do you know who's your soulmate? It's Katsuya. Fate tells you. Easy video game. Poor Nanjo. Yeah, Nanjo just got, like, his ass beaten in. Okay, okay. Whew! Alright, we made it through the chasm there. What I don't understand, like, if you've discovered a pitfall in this game, you, like, they should keep the square open. Like, how is the pitfall recovering itself? Why is the floor just coming back after you discovered it? It should just stay there. Like, it's extra cruel that they keep it closed. They don't need to do that. It's just so mean. 
Like, how are they closed up again? I fell through that shit. Ah. <sighs> the world is a sad one. Oh, this is a dead. Oh, fuck me. I was hoping that was the way. Damn it. Okay, this is a little bit bad, so instead, let's just recruit you again. Mobius! Oh god! Thank you so much for the tier 1 sub, I appreciate the support. I hope you enjoy all the emotes! Okay, right or left? Why do they do this? But like, why do they, why do they do this, Chad? This is such a long walk. This is so cruel. Why would you, oh God, you killed Katya. You assholes. They killed my boyfriend, prepare to die. summon him, he builds you a fucking tower and leaves? Interesting. What? Your content is awesome? Aw, that is very kind. What the fuck? Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoy the content so much. Oh, I'm so running out of here. Oh. Uh. I'll kill these guys, but damn. I'm done with demons. I'll just kill these, like, human fucks. Yes, I will play- well, I'll play as many SMT games as I can. Mamudo didn't kill anyone. Oh good, Mamudo didn't kill anyone. Oh my god. I just want to run. I want to get away. I want to fly away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That song is so old. <sighs> I am ashamed. Actually, when did that song come out? Holy crap, now that I'm like singing out loud. Maybe that was, I, I don't know, my brain wants to say that song is like 1990s, somewhere in there in that decade. Funny. But yeah, no, I probably I don't like mobile games. I won't get there. Man, okay. Let's just put it this way, chat. If I start playing mobile games on stream. Really? How did I not get that pitfall before, but I only get it now? Anyway. Um if I start playing mobile Hello. games on stream. Sorry for all the messages just reset. Thank you so much for the two months. I appreciate it. I hope you keep enjoying those emotes. Um, but if I, the, the moment I start playing more mobile games, I immediately get triple the amount of offers for Raid Shadow Legends. And I do not want that. They email me at least once a week. I don't want them to start emailing me five times a week because they see I'm playing mobile games. Like... No. I am just not dealing with it. I'm sorry. And plus, I don't even play mobile, mobile games, really. It basically is harassment. That's why everyone has a problem with them, because they don't leave you the fuck alone. 
You know how many, like every single time they email me, I always say, take me off your list and don't email me about Raid Shadow Legends ever again. And I get, I still get emails because they outsource to like hundreds of third parties to advertise on their behalf. So it's like, they don't, co they don't coordinate. So when you turn down one, you're just gonna get another company coming your way. It's a fucking nightmare. Okay, so what pitfall did I fall down this time? I fell down a new one. How did you get into dance? Uh, my mom forced me whenever I was three years old. <laughs> Danced since I was three years old and I kept doing it. That's literally it. Anybody can dance. Actually, one of my favorite things to witness is uh, there's a lot of videos out there of like just people with different kinds of disabilities dancing, and it's fantastic. to embody the power of the emulator for this for the pitfalls are right, you guys ready to see some cheating all right boom yes i didn't even need to cheat Fuck yeah. Oh, how am I finding the journey of P2? It is amazing. This game is a significant upgrade from Innocent Sin in like every way, and I fucking love this game. I am obsessed with the characters and like everything. It has its flaws for sure, but like, hot damn. I am just straight loving it. Okay, we got stairs here. And we got stairs here. They're both stairs. Right and left. I mean, I don't blame people for skipping it. Especially with Persona only recently becoming popular. It is hard for a lot of people to like double back and go play retro games it takes a special kind of person most people wouldn't do that so like i don't blame people for not going back but if you can handle a retro game then yes it's absolutely worth it but some it, it is hard for a lot of people why is this fish beating me up Hmm. Word on mobile. Why why mobile though? Oh boy, this looks like so fun. Let's save.
We're on the basement floor one. Shouldn't... Three is the one that has the treasure room. Another level up. Finding working hardware to play the games that never saw a re-release? Yeah. But even then, like... Even then, it still do be hard. Bean chain! <gasps> like... A part of myself has to be real, right? I do be a little bit of a boomer gamer. I also realize, like, the Zoomers that are growing up nowadays have a hard time playing any game that's, like, less than 60 FPS. So many spoiled motherfuckers out there that are like, I can't play a game if it's not 60 FPS. So we live in that kind of a world right now. <laughs> Gotta be real, this is hard for a lot of, like, modern gamers to play. <laughs> as unfortunate as it is to say that, it's kind of how it is. There's a lot of people, yeah. Even some of my friends have converted. Can't go back playing old games anymore. Huh. But yeah, I'm of the opinion that this game would be successful only as a port. I don't think it's financially beneficial for Atlas to, uh, like, completely remake the game. That would take way too much effort for not a lot of sales, in my opinion. So, like, I do hate to say it. I'm loving this game a lot. But they would lose out financially if they did that. But a port? Absolutely. They should be porting this game. That would be that would not cost them a lot to do. I'm trying to chase down a pitfall. Is that stupid? <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can drop down into the treasure room that we found. Oh, I agree. It's such a breath of fresh air to play an adult cast. I love it a lot. Okay, I am literally stepping on every tile to try to find a pitfall and it is not working. no pitfalls, okay. Yeah. Oh, the SP one. It's okay. Um, let me see though. I guess I never went that way, but it should be okay.
Oh god, where am I going? <laughs> Maya's drip. It's actually... Look. Okay. I'm gonna be real. I don't like it. I don't like her design. I I do hate saying that. I love her as a character, but I actually don't like her outfit. I find it kind of a messy design. That's just me though. I'm sorry. I know everybody probably really likes her outfit, but I do not find it flattering. I don't like the colors. I don't like the style. I don't think it suits her as a character. I I think it just doesn't like it just doesn't scream Maya. And also her tie is so random. Like the outfit doesn't represent her as a character, I feel. Like, the tie is a random part of it. Like, this purple-ass tie. The brown going into the tan with the zipper outline and the two strings hanging down. Like, there is actually nothing about this design that I like. I don't... I don't really like it. I'm sorry. I know, that's probably a bad opinion. <laughs> but it's the first design that I've come across that I just, like, don't like it. I've seen way better outfits in the 90s, man. I grew up in the 90s. I know what the fashion was like. This one, this wasn't it. It kind of was, but like, it just, I don't know. It doesn't represent character, her character well, in my opinion. Not a fan. It's awkward. Fucking hell. It's the first time where I'm like, I, okay, this is actually really annoying, damn. It's the first time I'm seeing a protagonist and I'm like, e yeah, not so hot. Damn, okay. This is quite the room. Oh, one too many forward. Oh, god damn it. It is iconic. Uh I don't think iconic is a good thing if I'm remembering it to be iconically bad. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck. Uh, first time seeing this game. I am loving this game. I can only, like, commend it. Honestly. Seriously. I, I fucking, I'm having a great time with this game. Um, but yeah. Look. I know this is like a Giga Chad thing to say. But I genuinely think I could come up with a better design for this character than what they gave her. I just don't like it. All right, it's couch stream time!
hi everybody welcome to couch stream how is everyone doing oh design it i'm really tempted to i'm really tempted to make my own maya design that i actually like a lot more let's positive thinking yeah let's positive thinking chat all right let me uh zoom in my camera a little bit Oh, Jesus! Not that much. I just wanted a little bit of a zoom in. Maybe more? Maybe something like that? Are we good now? Gamer couch, it's back. I gotta change glasses, though. Now that I'm sitting a bit further away, my mic is here. All right, let's go. Oh... <sighs> That's why Maya's so good in the 25th anniversary, because she's not wearing her normal outfit. I'm gonna be real, I didn't really look at... Like... Whenever I saw 25th anniversary art, I was not looking at the characters I did not know. So I don't even remember what art they, ca they gave Maya. Um, but I'm very curious to see, because... I hope it's not this outfit. <laughs> not a fan. But Tatsia's biker outfit in this game, Ta uh, Katsia's outfit, Beofu's outfit, ooh la la, uh, uh, okay. I'm not, okay, if I like critically looked at ooh la la's design, I do not like the spider web motif at all. I think this would be way better of an outfit if you just took off the spider web entirely and you just had the dark green button up with lace, with the black lace. Like, keep the black lace, it's great. But I, I don't think, I don't like the, the spider web on it. I really don't. I just want it to be deleted. Like, I just, I just want to like erase it. Just the plain color is totally fine. And it's dressed up a little bit and like it sticks out to me just from the black lace. Like that thick ass like black lace is hot as fuck. That's all that needs. <clears throat> I don't know. Not a fan. Also, I can't tell what the bottom half of it looks like, but um, if that's like a tight skirt kind of fit, I guess that was very like that kind of skirt was very 90s so it kind of makes sense just whether it makes sense to her character or not like are those shorts or skirt i can't see her wearing a skirt actually it's weird it's weird so anyway i need to actually pay attention to this so we need to memorize the pattern here up one left one two three down one left one two up one Left two, down one, left two, up one. Now what do we do? Up, up, so maybe we keep going up and do like the same pattern mirrored on the other side. Let's try like doing a mirrored pattern. I just want to end the battle. Please let me leave. Okay. Oh no, my footprints! No! My footprints are gone! All right. Saving my game then. Okay. I think over two, down two. Oh! Fuck. Over two, down one. Over two, down, up one. No, what? Oh, you can kind of see the pattern here. So we go down one over three, 
up one over three. So, okay. Three. Just look at the pattern here. Okay. I'm trying to memorize it. Got him. Whew. Three pieces of loot? Holy light card! Me- Meteorum! Oh my god! Holy shit! I need that card so fucking bad right now! Uh, unreal, dude! Unreal! We need that so bad. Yeah, now I can finally give a different demon to Maya. Oh god, wait, I gotta go back? Wait, technically we don't. We could just, like, fall down. You know what? No. I'm a Giga Chad. Saving my game. Let's go. Oh, oh. I'm not a Giga Chad. Oh, fuck. <sighs> I tried being a Giga Chad. I failed at being a Giga Chad. Uh. Oh, rank up. <laughs> Giga Chads use save states. Exactly why I'm the gigest of Chads. I am the... I am the... Wait, ha where have I gone? Oh, fuck, the battle screwed me up. You know what? I, I accept this L. I accept this L, and we're walking. Why did you kill Nanjo, you asshole? Uh. Alright, so where are we at now? Okay, that has to happen, though. Okay! Okay, we're finally at the room. We're finally at the room. Alright, I'm gonna save. Um, but I want to keep going. Okay, we're gonna go up the stairs here. God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Item breeder. I don't like. Oh, fuck you. That's all there is here? Thank you. 
My god, I'm getting roasted, dude. That's what the item was called. How do we find the pitfall to the treasure room? Damn it. Maybe it's in the room of seal. Okay. All right, we're doing a real save now. For real, for real save, guys. I'm very nervous about this. So Kandori is past this door. Oh boy. Okay. Tatsuya! Kandori! You're a little late. We just finished breaking the seal. This is a seal that controls a dragon. There are 11 more of these throughout the world, and they've all been released. Dragons, a huge energy flowing underground. Now, by releasing the Kegare with, it, with the dragon, this world will be obliterated. Right now, Gozen and Tatsuzo-sama are, are headed towards Torfune. You lost. I'd like to tell you to chase them, but I'm just a peon. I can't just let you return. Please, honor me by being my opponents. Oh, Nanjo. Damn, bro. Young lad, I leave the woman to you. Young lad, not just just called Dante a young lad. Why oh, is that so funny? You're not that much older, Dante. You're like what, twenty? <laughs> young man. I'm actually Algumi from Shin Mikami Tensei 5. Young man, I will protect you if you help the young woman. <laughs> Alright, time to die. These look like they're weak to thunder. Oh, there's a Kandori in the middle. How lovely. I guess we just have to see what does the most damage. All right, wish me luck. We're going to need it. Kandori, what you going to do? He just stood there. Holy shit! Oh god. I used all my rattle drinks. Okay, this is 200 for all allies. I'm just, I'm just actually gonna keep going. Let's just uh, hope If they keep going after Beofu like that, that's good. And Nanjo too. 
They sealed Maya. are so dumb looking. I love that they are just holding a sword. And Katsuya's dead. It's okay. He got sealed anyway. It's interesting. So Kandori just guards every turn. One to Ula La, actually. Oh, Kendori actually does shoot. Go on! <gasps> Beofu was just about to use Recarm. Oh my god, the seal is so ass. Fucking hell. Uh, I don't want to use an item. My items are getting more limited. Maybe I'll just use uh, this wavelength. No. Fuck, I don't know. Here, give uh, he Meg Megado. Megado. That'll teach him. Reflect. Interesting. That Megado didn't even do much. Holy shit. Okay, that was a pretty good run. That was a, that, or a good turn, rather. That was a good turn. I'm gonna give another Chewing Soul to Ulala. She's probably gonna run out eventually. Just for this turn, I'm gonna have Nanjo defend. Ulala needs to keep going though. Okay, so we got Beofu back. Damn, they uh they killed Maya. And they sealed Beofu again! Jesus Christ! Let's uh, try some other shit, I guess. Protection Magatama on Maya. Chat, 
you're getting into territory that I really don't want you guys talking about. Brady, please stop. I do not want to see differences between this game and the last game. Especially whenever I do not understand timelines in this game. So shut your pie holes. I would say it nicer, sorry. My aggravation is higher than normal. I'm gonna risk Ula La dying again because I really just gotta, I gotta get these fuckers out of here. We got to kill him. Every time I try to recarn Katia, that is the third time I get sealed when I'm trying to raise my boyfriend, you motherfucker. Holy shit, let my boyfriend come back to life! Jesus. All right, Beofu, please. I hope that you don't get sealed again. I need you to cast Recarm. Wait, electricity coming out of that, that one tank. We almost got one down. Alright, Katya's back up on his feet. Not that that really means anything he needs to defend. Honestly, we all do. Fuck. Okay, um... Shit. One is almost dead. Just one, though. Eternal Black! And now Maya's sealed! Look at everybody's HP. You know what this calls for? Oh god, Ulala is gonna die. If Ulala survives, Feed Chain. Feed Chain deserves a comeback here. Oh, what was that wheel of time? Oh my god. This is so not happening. We're dead. We're fucking dead. We're so dead. That's just it. That's just it. We're dead. There's no way we survive this. Damn, buddy. Oh. Oh my god, I didn't mean to go there. Oh, Jesus.
I need that meteorama so bad. I don't want to go back to the velvet room. The velvet room is like really far. Also, fuck, there, there's an item I didn't get. I could drop down here and go to the velvet room, but I have to go all the way around to get back to this room again, if I want to do that. So, I'd rather not. I think we can do this though. Oh boy. Who wants 10 more HP? Katya does. Who wants more dexterity? I don't even know. Who wants more vitality? Katya does. Who wants more strength? Katya does. Okay, but also to be fair, Katsuya was dead like almost that entire time. The entire fight, I was katsuya -less, so that also sucks. You're sensing favoritism? No, 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 no. I don't do favoritism here, man. Absolutely not. No idea what you're talking about. I really like Nanjo's dialogue there. God, he grew up so much. Seriously, God, you're doing so good, Nanjo. Not bad for first round. They did go straight after Maya though, which is a complete bitch. And they still are going straight after Maya. Wow, they love Maya. Shock is so oh she died. God, that's so bad. <sighs> Let me guess. I'm gonna recarm ooh la la, and it's never gonna happen because they're gonna seal Beofu. That's just you know what? That's just kind of how it goes around here. Oh, nope. Okay, it went off. That's super surprising. All right. Uh, do I want Katia to defend another turn? I think I do. I think it's better to play safer. And Ula loves down. I should have had her defend too. I just had to go for the offense, at least for a little bit. Oh god, and Maya is now gonna die. Okay, th this is great. Um, hopefully, because Kandori moves first. Um, hopefully Kandori doesn't uh, kill Maya. Wait. This is Beofu. Oops. You okay? Oh. Yeah. 
Um, all right, Nanjo. Oh, Kendori didn't move first. And Ulala's up. Let's go. All right. Everybody attack! Nanjo's down. Nanjo's down. Wow, they really fucking hate my party. Jesus Christ. Man, Katya was down the whole time in the last round, and now it's Ula La who does the most damage. Cannot stay up. Ugh, holy shit. All right, Katya, you're on the defense. Beopu, you're on the recarm duty again. I'm getting lucky because, like, they aren't using the seal move this time. So I have yet to be sealed, which is great, but... <laughs> uh. Okay. Holy shit, Maya's dead. Uh, okay. I don't know. I think I feel like this is GG, but I don't know, man. I'm gonna use a bead chain. I'm gonna use a bead chain. My first bead chain. I'm very disappointed, but that also means that everybody can attack this round. So uh, I guess I guess we're just going all out here. up Maya's up our last bead goes to Maya Jeez, none of them are dying because Ula has been dead the whole time so she hasn't been able to like focus target oh great uh, ooh la la is really... Oh, she does the most damage. What is happening? Oh, we got one! One is showing signs of weakness! Oh, Katya, you're out of SP. What the fuck? Damn it! Oh, you bitch. Wheel of Time... And Ula La's dead again. <laughs> Literally, I need Nanjo to do another bead chain. I need to kill them. 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 Oh, myriad arrows. Oh, Jesus Christ. Kandori said, fuck you in particular. You're just going to straight die. Oh, God. What is this? Stop, 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 stop. Oh, God. Everything is awful. Oh, God. What is happening? How do I make this stop? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, that was terrifying. What a roller coaster of emotions! Holy shit! How do these these battles are so different from one another? Jesus Christ! Ah. <sighs>
Okay, I'm gonna give another chewing soul to Katsia. Here we go! Take three. Third time is the charm, everybody. Kandori's going down. We are all gonna collectively become Maya. And chat and everybody is gonna be like, let's just think positive, yeah! Let's think positive, everybody! Just think positive, everybody. This is gonna be a much easier battle because Maya is starting off with a fucking seal. Okay. Positive? Yeah, chat, just keep thinking positive. My healer can't heal. Ha 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 ha. Funny joke. Oh, and now my healer is dead. Again. This is fantastic. And I now have a new strategy. New strategy. All according to plan. Oh god, he has to survive that many turns. I think he can. Beofu's like pretty tanky, actually. But this was the strategy. All according to plan. Like, Beofu's so tanky, dude. Actually, I'll just do a regular revival bead. Should be enough. All right, this is the turn. Oh, Katia shock. I need Beofu up. I just don't know who to get him up. I mean, Katia is probably the best. Let's see if uh, let's see how it looks after this round. And Nanjo sealed. So Nanjo. <laughs> I like when they attack the people that are guarding. Oh god. 
right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Just keep using a chewing soul on Ula La. That's all you're good for, Nanjo. That is it. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a little bit mean. I didn't mean it like that. Oh, Maya, I was hoping she would survive that. Oh, boy. Well, this is uh, looking terrible. I don't know about you guys, but uh, this is not looking so great. And no, sh no signs of weakness to be found. Honestly, wait, wait, wait. You should be attacking Ulala, and Katia should be doing the bead chain strat. And then Beofu should be raising. And then Nanjo should be sitting there and looking pretty. What else can you do? <laughs> I guess you could do a uh, explosive Magatama. I mean, damage, it's better than doing no damage, right? Like, at least he can do something. That one is getting there. Okay. Nanjo's no longer sealed. Katia actually has health and is not dying. Okay, okay, yeah, he's health, he's healthy and uh, not sealed. That's what I meant today. Say not sealed. Okay, and then Beofu. Okay, back to our regular rounds. Let's just hope that Maya doesn't die. Maya, please don't die. Okay. 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 Looking good. Looking good. Um, I could take another chance on Ula La here. This guy is in the red. If we can get one of them down, chat, like that's a pretty big fucking deal. Um, I just think that Ula La might die after that, but it's okay. It's okay. You know what? At least we go out with a bang. Myriad arrows. Oh, that's that's great. I love that attack. It's my favorite attack. Oh boy. That is that is my favorite thing. Oh boy. Well, I killed one of the tanks, guys. I I did kill one of them. So this is progress, right? There are 3 left instead of 4. And there's the Wheel of Time. Why does the Wheel of Time exist? Oh, God. Um, go ahead, my two boyfriends. Try to do this battle by yourself. You're not gonna die at all. Surely not. Huh. Oh my god. Okay, I give it one more. If this doesn't work out, I go to the Velvet Room, I get a Persona with Meteorama, put it on Maya, and then we basically one-shot it after that. I still believe in the heart of the cards, though. I still am a believer. I should give this dex increase to uh, Ulala, actually. Duplicates an item as long as it is a usable item. I can duplicate anything I want. I can duplicate a bead chain. I could duplicate... The Yamatano drink actually isn't bad either. Dang, the power! 
Joseph, thank you so much for the three month resub. I really appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. All right, we're back in business, everybody. This is the urn. This is the urn. Okay, good round. Um, I will take a chance with Katya. Nanjo being sealed isn't the worst thing. Okay. We're gonna take a... Oh, except for Ulala. Ulala is gonna keep going. Nanjo is sealed, so let's give a chewing soul to Ula La. Keep that healthy, keep it going. I'm gonna make Katia, not Tatia. Katia is going to defend. Beofu is such a tank, he's just gonna keep going. Of course they go after Ula La, man. Ah, oh, three of them specific. What is that RNG? Oh, she's doing too much damage. They're like, you are specifically a threat. Defend and yeah. They shocked Beofu. Oh my fucking God. You ass hats. Okay, there you know what, Katsuya, you're healthy enough. Just 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 go. Just go. Just go. I believe in you. I believe in you, man. Ulala's up. Okay, cool. And Nanjo's back. Okay, 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 okay. Here, Nanjo, go, 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 go. Um, Ula La is gonna defend. Katsuya, you're good. Killer Wind. Maya might die. This is okay, apparently. I really shouldn't throw away Maya's life like that, should I? That's not very intelligent. Ah! I just shouldn't throw away her life like that. It's okay. RNG is on my side, right, chat? Right. Actually, holy shit. They sealed Katya. That was a really good round. They spread out the damage. I actually needed that. Um, Ulala's gonna keep defending. Nanjo, you keep going. Katsuya, you are gonna keep defending. Beofu, do damage. Okay. Here we go. And he sealed. I I love this. Oh my god. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Uh, Nanjo, why? Here, um, okay, we're gonna do that protection mag Magatama on Maya. I think it actually really helped. Let's do that. <laughs> Katia, you're back in action. Let's go! 
Ulala is like not quite ready to be in action, but. Hmm? When did Nanjo get drip? I don't consider his outfit very drippy. It's like, okay. He's got a ways to go in terms of fashion. But it ain't bad. You know what? The number one thing is a little bit of a turnoff. Like, I do love Nanjo to death. But... <laughs> not so sure, man. <laughs> not so sure about that part. Stop targeting Maya. Fuck. Okay. I am gonna have Ula La use this Yamatano drink. He could lose the helmet. I mean, his hair wasn't all that impressive from Persona 1. <laughs> the helmet's okay. <laughs> helmet's fine. I don't mind it. Look, I love Nanjo to death, but I'm just being real here, okay? Cruel. I'm trying to do damage, man. None of these, none of these robots are going down. Fuck. And Ula La needs to do damage, but she is also getting targeted a lot. I need to be careful. Okay, defend. Just defend. At least Nanjo and Katsuya can do like some small chip damage here. Oh boy, it's not the worst situation in the world that we're dealing with right now, but... Eat. Okay! This is probably one of the best times we've had. I'm just gonna do a safety round of everybody defending. See how that goes. Uh, let's do the same exact thing again. <laughs> We're not... Uh, let's just do that again. Myriad arrows! Jesus Christ. Good call. And Katia sealed. Jesus Christ. Oh, Beofu is the only one doing damage. I'm sitting in defense mode right now. Katia's aggressively late 80 style. Katia style is great. I also don't consider it late 80s though. Huh? It's pretty 90s. Actually, no. It's just the glasses, really. But even then, it's not that bad. Oh, Beowulf is so fucking dead. Well, this is a problem. Okay, um... How do we handle this? Ooh la la is gonna revive Beofu. And then Nanjo is gonna swoop in with a bead chain to save everybody's fucking bacon. And then... Oh, yeah. Never mind. Nanjo is going to attack. And then Katsuya is going to save everybody's bacon because he can't do shit anyway. <laughs> Eternal Black. Perfect. All according to Kekaku. All right, 
well, uh, we're back in terrible land here. Uh, let's just go, let's just go, let's just go. Literally, though, Katsuya is perfect in every way, shape, and form. Alright, I'm gonna do a stupid, and I'm gonna try to get Ulala to kill this guy. Please kill a robot, please. I just need one of them down, make it a tiny bit easier here. Wheel of Time! Oh god. Well, that's uh... That went well. Katia, your sacrifice will be uh... You know what? Actually, you don't need to sacrifice. Oh, wait, you kind of do. Um, you're the most likely to live here. Hmm. I kind of want everybody else to die, but if I do it, let's say... Okay, so if I make Nanjo drink the Brink Tea, I have to assume that he's going to survive three attacks. It's more likely that Katia would survive. Which kind of sucks, because that means the other turns are a little bit busted. Also, here's a chewing soul for your troubles. And Maya can just sit here and defend. Actually, Nanjo can also do the same thing. Bye, Katia. Oh, God. Yeah, I didn't really have a choice there. Well, unless we get like God tier RNG right now. Mm, I have no idea what to do anymore. If Nanjo's just gonna be using a bead chain, Maya can just sit here and balm of life like Ulala. And Beofu can recarm Katsuya. But we're probably all gonna die. Oh, just Maya. Hey, we got the bead chain off. That happened. Oh wait, Beofu's like out of magic. Oh, that's like a whole separate ass problem. I'm still hanging in there. Oh, they sealed the recarm again. out to get me man so much that is the point huh I have no other things uh, to use as a raising I guess so. well Beofu you did good son you did good but not good enough buddy how about you just use like a Megado and pretend like you're doing something. Good job, everybody. You're doing great. <laughs> you're all fucking dead is what you are. 
You're just gonna die defending nothing. Oh look, Beowulf's back up, guys. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, he got sealed again, by the way. Damn it! All right, this would be a lot easier if we got Maya a new persona. So let's take like 10 minutes here to get Maya a new persona that can actually effectively heal. Whee! Fuck this fish. Why did this fish begin talking to me? I don't want to talk to fish. Oh boy. The punishment is eternal. <laughs> uh, why would you joke about that? All right, hi Igor. So I'm having a problem, you see. Are you familiar with fusion spells? When you use it, there's a chance your persona will mutate. Yes. Uh, a persona returns to rank one after mutation. Okay. Mutate persona. Maya Prime? What? Maya and then Maya Prime. That sounds so weird. So Maya Prime would have Meteorama. Are you fucking kidding me? I could get Meteorama right there, buddy. Oh my god. How I wouldn't kill for that. But cannot mutate it. So! Here we are. I want a very, the highest level I can get. Takshaka? That's the fish! God, the fucking fish. Meh, 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 meh. Looks like Maya can subscribe to your channel thanks to her Amazon Prime. <laughs> Excellent bits. I could get Succubus. Oh boy. Diamond Dust! Zeodyne also would be really nice for this battle in particular, but Maya would probably be stuck healing anyway most of the time. Oh, did you know that if you have an active Amazon Prime subscription, you can subscribe to your favorite streamer? Oh my god! Wow! You could subscribe to me and get the world's best emotes on Twitch? That's crazy! Does Maya Prime get a free Twitch sub too? I mean, I would give Maya a free Twitch sub, yes. But too bad. Guys, I'm gonna break it. I'm just gonna break it to you. Maya... doesn't... exist. Sorry. I hate to be like that person. What if I gave Beofu a new persona that had Samari Karma as well? Like this one. Oh my god, they also get diarrhea hand. 
Holy shit. High earth damage. Dang. I wish that was thunder damage, though, because we really need thunder damage for this fight in particular. But this is already a really good start. All right, cool, cool. Take on a persona, Beofu, get this guy. What do you mean I could get Amazon Prime free by upgrading my persona, Igor? <laughs> Thanks, Andre. Oh, that's right. The theory from last stream. Maya doesn't exist because everyone is Maya. God, these theories are definitely special. I did this to myself, too. Like, I literally create my own problems. Which is its own form of sadness. All right, look at that meteorama. Look at that heal I just did, bro. I'm actually healing now. All right, so we have a long walk back. However, we have our personas to rank up anyway. So it is A-OK. -okay. Katsia, no, Beofu just got the new persona as well. So we have to, we have to rank up Beofu and Maya's a little bit, just a little bit. I can't, I can't, oh god, I can't reach my tissue. Oh. Okay, I got a tissue. Oh god, I hit my controller. All the way up and around, here we go. Through this beautiful dungeon. Absolutely beautiful dungeon. Oh, I got rank two already. Good, good, good. We love to see it. Running around downtown, walking fast. I could walk faster, I guess, though. We got a rank two already. Boom. Beofu, level up. Look at that. Beautiful. I never found the treasure room, though. Which makes me severely upset. I almost just fell down the pit, holy shit. Maya's SP is actually going down significantly, though, with the new Meteorama, so we have to be careful. Oh. Ah. <sighs> I'm actually starting to use SP again. The soldiers were guarding the pit. These soldiers are so, so fucking annoying, dude. All right, I'm not too mad about the pitfalls because I do have to rank up a little bit anyway, so it works out, I guess. Meteorama will make things easier. Also, Samaric Arm will make it so raising isn't as much of a bitch either. Samaric Arm is equally as much of a big deal right now. Already a huge increase. Okay, pitfall. Not fighting those. So we got two. 
Meteorama, Samaric Arm. We're ranking up as much as we can. If I could get Diamond Dust as well, I mean, Maya wouldn't... Maya's pretty much stuck to healing anyway, but... Uh, I'm just gonna keep giving more SP. We're gonna need more and more SP. Although, we also need a bit. Okay. I'll compromise. <laughs> Man, Kandori, why can't we have Tatsuya in this fight? That's what I want to know. If only we had the ability to use Tatsuya, everything would be fine. Ow. So now we have Marin Karen, which is fantastic. Totally useful. And Beofu now has Ball Sack, which is also amazing. I, I love having Ball Sacks. Nanjo's asleep. <laughs> uh, the left side? Okay, and then... Down here. God, this place is awful. Okay. I got another rank up. Let's go. Balzac is great. Yeah. Sits. It's, it's going to do wonders, honestly. Excited for the tier list. Hey. Chris Hall, I think we all can agree that Tatsuya gets his own tier called the Tatsuya tier, right? No. This he doesn't. He's not that special. That's right. I said it. Oh god. They're not weak to magic, so this is a little bit annoying. This is gonna take a lot. I should just do basic attacks. Strategy! Everybody just do a normal attack! Katia's charm! No! Thank you for the 100 bits. I don't know how interesting it's gonna be though, so like. <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously. Thanks for the hundred. Um, I don't know how interesting it's gonna be because like the tier list will be very biased and it's just how I would rank them. Not like what I actually think the better Persona games are. Like it's not a tier list on like what I think is the best Persona. It's just what the, like how I personally rank the Personas from my experiences. Which is hard to differentiate for people, I feel. But, I mean... Oh, Zeodyne, that's kind of helpful. So yeah, it's, it's weird. It's like a, it's going to be a biased... tier list. Of course Katia's special. What? How could you dare question that? Damn, Maya does some serious damage. I wish she didn't have the heal. Oh my god, Zeodyne would trivialize this freaking fight so much. Holy shit. Where am I going?
Also, I just realized my desk should be lower. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right, where are we going? Weaving through the town. Weaving through the town. Should I do like a separate video on like a specific character ranking tier list? God, that'd be biased as fuck. But yeah, like ranking my favorite Persona characters. All of them in the entire franchise. We went there. Okay, that was like the special land. And then we fall here, and then we're here. We made it back, everybody. My SP, though. My SP, though. sure what to do actually I need Ulala -la to level up I think we're gonna get the Nanjo and Ulala -la level up nice if Beofu also had an AoE before we do this for real for real you know what I'm saying Popularity ranking of all Persona characters. First was a Dachi. Holy shit. No, I don't believe that. No. No shot. It's true. Like the popular? Popular. A popularity contest? Are people okay? Maya does so much damage with this new persona, it's actually really scary. She could one-shot one of these tanks now. I bet you. Okay, I saw Beofu got a rank up, so Ulala's level is there. I'm trying not to spend SP. Um, I'll... I'm pretty far away from a level two. I think Maya should back down. <gasps> I accidentally went in the door. Well, okay. I didn't... I didn't save my game, so... I'm not going back either. All right, this is now a challenge run. This is a challenge run. 
Oh shit. I almost want to just do Zeodyne. Okay, I'm gonna do something wild. We're gonna just do that, and we're gonna have... I don't... You know what? Do I even need a healer? Do we really need a healer? Fuck it. I don't think we do. No one's healing. Straight damage. going first just do this drink and then maybe Maya will heal this round oh fuck I really don't want to fuck it I don't want to heal I don't want to heal Why do they all just go after Katya there? Really? Why? Maya's just doing damage. Like... She does so much damage. I cannot justify. Someone does need to heal Katsuya, though. He's kind of dying. <laughs> you know what? He'll be fine, guys. Don't worry about Katsuya. He's honestly fine. Oh, sealed Maya! Okay, that's just mean. used to be really tanky. I guess his last persona I had on him made him a tank. I didn't even realize that. Stop going after Katsuya! Holy shit! Damn! They really focus targeted that bitch. Look, we already almost got this one down. Nanjo, um, use a chewing soul on Beofu. Maya, just defend. Okay. You found a Dachi cute? Oh my god. I literally like nothing about this character. He's just like, Adachi to me is just a character. He's not bad nor good, I just don't find him that special. So it's really hard for me to see this point of view. Difference, yeah. Like, I don't see him as a super special character. What do I want to do? I think I want to use another Chewing Soul, possibly, on Beofu, while Nanjo can't do anything. And, or, um, I will give... You know what? Let's just give the Protection Magatama to Maya.
I do love the Adachi memes, though, yeah. I, I gotta say, I agree there. The memes are hysterical. They sealed Maya. Again. As soon as she was able to heal. This is personal. This is fucking personal. I don't want everybody to die, though. Oh, God. It's hard. Just not knowing what to do. Oh, we got one dead. Stop going after my boyfriend. God damn it. Jesus. Okay, I don't want my boyfriend to die. He might die, but it's going to be worth trying to put a beat on him at the very end of the turn. Oh my god, it worked. sealed Nanjo uh, again. Okay. Uh, now Maya can heal at least. Adachi's popularity surprised Eyeless too. He's like, I will say memes are very powerful and Adachi is any, like, I'm not saying he's a poorly written character. I think he's fine. Like, he's just not to my particular taste. Um, but it, like, I think he's a finely written character, but like, I don't see him like super special, but I will say he's a fantastic meme. <laughs> Like, Adachi is, like, prime meme material. <laughs> and that is, like, one of the best parts. Alright, Nanjo, you have one job, and that's to throw a chewing soul at Beofu. Go. going to be attacking everybody watch out things are gonna fucking die because that's what happens when maya actually gets to attack you're all fucking dead Alright, now Maya's gonna take a Meteorama turn. But... Ooh la la, still going at it though. We're running out of SP fast. Are we down to two? We're down to two. So 
Sorry, Ulala, you might die. I'm gonna risk it. I just want Maya to do damage. She's a she's so good right now. Oh. Now you do that fusion spell? Are you goddamn serious? I needed that five years ago! That was amazing! Y'all did 500 damage on each of those tanks! Why couldn't you do that before? I'm so angry! Holy shit, you suck! So bad! You whipping out the good stuff now! Sheesh, motherfucker! What in the goddamn hell? I'm so mad. I'm sorry. I'm so mad. That's bullshit! I was doing that with the both of them before, and only now it triggered. Fuck you! <laughs> like, what? What are you doing? No, I don't fucking you! Ah, no, I fucking you! Holy shit, no one died. Oops. Oh, anyway. Thunder Blast. Imagine Thunder Blast. What a concept. I'm gonna save Katsuya's uh, SP. I know he won't do much damage, but I can't have everybody running out of SP here. You included, Nanjo. We gotta save some SP for uh... Kandori! Thunder Blast. Yes, please activate this fucking fusion spell, you bitches. Goddamn. Oh, look! Now the tanks are dead! Wow! I ma imagine that! The tank's dying! I'm not mad at all, by the way. I am... I am never mad. Yeah, this is the run that we ran in on accident. I wasn't ready. I definitely was not ready, but... Uh... Oh, boy. All right, so beating up our beautiful, lovely friend, Kandori. I want, I want Nanjo to, like, be the one that strikes the final blow. Nanjo deserves to beat this guy into the fucking ground. If I can, if I can make it happen, I'm gonna give Nanjo that satisfaction. Why is your defense so high? I do not understand this. Why, why do I do no damage to you? I do not understand. <laughs> I still want to try to get poison on him. Go for it, ooh la la. 
Uh, Katia did decent. Uh, everyone's running out. Oh god. Um, you know what? Fuck it. There we go. Kandori seems to have a lot of health, which sucks. God, why? I can't do any good damage on him. He's level 55? Why am I here? Endured these nuts? Oh god. You should be ashamed of yourself for that one. Who has SP? Literally nobody. <laughs> Except for Nanjo. We're doing great. And he still is in the green. Dude, that Wheel of Time is such bullshit. Okay, ooh-la-la, la, I need you to do me a favor and spend that miracle egg on Maya. I just need this guy to die. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, everybody defend again. That was pretty good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take a risk, I guess. Uh, no, I shouldn't. At least Maya moves first. So we'll just have everybody attack after that then. Did I try everything? Yeah. Earth, not good. Nuclear was the same. Kandori, why do you have so much health? Like, fuck off. Nobody likes you. <laughs> Just die. Uh, I'll do another Meteorama, I guess. You like Kandori? I, I, I'm assuming you mean as a character and not as a person. 
I like Kendori, I would be his best friend. Please, Senpai, please, my, please be my best friend. He seems nice, oh my god. He's done zero nice things ever. I'm literally gonna die because of lack of SP. Jesus. poop on a stick. He's still green. Like, this bitch is still green. I, I'm not getting anywhere. Fine. I'm honestly totally okay with this outcome. I had such bad RNG in the first time around, man. How much health do you have? I'm actually just so curious at how much health you have. Jesus Christ. Dude's not even flinching. Still green. And it's hard for me to find something that is just really effective on him, too. Nerve, mind charm, ailment, sleep. That's the only thing that does, like, damage. Even remotely. Alright, let's- let's give this another try here. Maya solo run. Not with that amount of SP, are you kidding me? Oh my god, I hate that we start off like this. tanks down now that we have these abilities. Man, if I just had like that little bit of training. Oh my god, Maya died right away. Holy shit. Is this even worth it? The answer is no. It's really not. 
I love you, Nanjo. I swear to God, I will beat Kendori just for you. He will die. I will make sure that he dies. Absolutely. Why can't Tatsuya just like swoop in and save the day in this fight, huh? Tatsuya totally could do that. First try. Couldn't do that before. Really couldn't. Damn. <sighs> All right, somebody has to do the Yama. Somebody has to heal around here because it ain't going to be Maya. You know what? I might just straight target Kandori right off the bat here. Meh, 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 meh. You see, Chris Hall, we didn't do it because we didn't think the boss would beat our asses. We decided, <laughs> hey, maybe we should. Maybe we should do that. Oh, look at this! Holy fucking shit, that is just so much damage. Oh, and he's dead. The guy who was going to heal us all is dead. Oh, wait, this is still fine. Nanjo goes first. And then Katsuya, you can like get him up or something. He'll be fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, we just need Maya and Ula La to just keep doing their thing. I am not interrupting the girl power here. Oh, shit. They didn't do the fusion. Fucking hell, man. Somebody's gonna fucking die. And you know what? I'm taking the chance. It's me. I'm taking the chance. Let's see. Let's see if you can actually use a B-chain. Let's see if you live to see the day. If not, Nanjo can also do it. You know what? I should just have Nanjo do it, honestly. Even if I defend, he's not going to do dog shit. What happens if I just do this to Kandori? Fuck you, Kandori! Activate fusion spell. That would be divine. Oh, and Beopu's dead. Nice. On the bead chain. All right, cool. Let's just try that fusion spell again. Hey, since you're sealed, why don't you get this bitch up? You just keep going after Kandori. Oh my god, they're all gonna die. Okay, they didn't all die. Fuck, I was really hoping all the tanks would die. I 
I don't know what to do. Just keep going after Kandori? Activate the fusion spell. Okay, this has to kill all the tanks this time. Yeah, they're all dead. They're all dead, Jim. Let's go! So quick. Now we have so much. Should I save? I feel like this is actually a really good time to save. I have a lot of SP. The tanks died pretty quick. You know what? I'm doing it. We're locking it in. It's locked in at this point. Maybe he's weak to water or some shit. Man, Beofu, you really don't do shit, do you? Guard? Bitch, why are you guarding? God, you're such- you're a pathetic piece of poo. I feel like I really still don't need to heal, um, so I'm not going to. You could just defend. <laughs> Heat wave, so sword damage and uh, straight slash. I'm just trying to find what does the most damage here. Fire! One's not bad damage, but with Agadine did about 51. So like, let's just say 50. And we'll just like compare damage. Not too different. convinced Kandori's never gonna die. He's just, that's just it. He's never gonna die. He's too tanky and has such high defense. I need a Tatsuya in my life. He has his hands in his pockets. Oh my god. Oh my god, Kandori! Ah! Fangirl squeal! Oh my god! I hate this. I 
At least I'm dishing out slightly more damage. Oops, I think I meant to heal. Oh god, I better not fucking die. Good thing Maya moves first. So we still have three chewing souls and a miracle egg in this one. So this this is more likely to be a win. turn to defense. I mean, I could move first, potentially, next time. Good move. I would have died. There we go. Perfect. Why is Kandori... Still fucking green. But why? You killed Maya. You actual bitch. Best GG, man. Well, uh, yeah, I think I used. Oh, I didn't use my brink tea. Oh my god, my brink tea. I guess, uh, Ula La could use it. Maybe Katsuya actually attacking isn't a good idea. Um, but Nanjo. Man, this guy. I thought I was like well prepared for this fight, man. Silly crystal, I thought. Okay, I do I do want to keep attacking here. We can afford it. Just everybody but Beofu. Okay. Alright, now Beofu, some Marikarm. And we should be good. Oh! That's not so good. I didn't even look at Maya's SP. Oh geez, we're getting down to the wire here, guys. Oh, I thought this was gonna be the urn. 
Come on, show signs of some weakness, please. Fucking hell. Show something, anything! This bitch! standing with his hands in his fucking pockets. Please don't die. Oh, I said please. Oh, the crit, the crit, the crit. It's okay, we're dead, but it's okay, guys. Candori. Oh my god. Is it? Wait! Red! 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 Oh! Sh okay, there's hope! There's hope! Holy shit! Okay, I, ca I can do this! I can do this! <gasps> breathe! 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 Oh my god. Dude's a Giga Chad. He's in the red, but he's not even kneeling. He's showing zero signs! Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. I can do this, I can do this. Alright, everybody can attack. Except Maya. Come on. It's okay, I didn't need that health. Those hit points? We didn't need those. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. He's going first, so we need to have a defend turn. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, okay. I'll attack. Oh, my God. I'm doing it. I'm actually doing it. Come on. Just keep punching him. Keep punching him. Come on. I believe in you guys. I believe. This is an interesting turn. I can actually attack. Come on. Come on.
Come on, Kandori. Just fucking die. Oh, I sacrificed Ulala. It's okay. She won't get experience, but if I win, then that means more. It, it, we will always remember you. I have like three attacks left. I have one more chewing soul. I'm trying not to use it. <gasps> I'm so sorry, Ulala. I'm so sorry. <sighs> she died so that we could live. Oh my God, we beat Kid Nori for the second time. Oh, shit, man. Shit. Thank you for gifting a sub to the community. Oh. Okay. I did it. I did it. I actually... I fucking did it, guys. Whew. Okay. Magnificent, but it is not easy for one embraced by the shadows to escape from its grasp. Can you break the chains of fate? Yeah, I can, bitch. Oh, that's why I came. I'll never let that sadness happen again. Whew. Hurry, leave. Before it's too late, this place won't last much longer. Come with us. No shot. Nanjo said that. He's trying so hard. That bitch. God damn. That, that takes so much. God dang. I just, I, I find that so hard to believe that Nanjo, like, even now, just tries to stick it through to the end, man. Too good for this world. Shit, you little bitch. You grew up so much from Persona 1. Don't humiliate me with your sympathy. Aw, oh, Nanjo. You wanted to hear the words from the boy? I regret leading you to this end. No, I was happy to just be with you. Wow. Where's Tatia and Katia? Where is Tatia and Katia? Where are they? I swear, this is so not cool. Where is Suo and that kid? What are you doing? The water's rising. Hurry, come with us. Jesus Christ. Come on, Tatia! Jesus, I'm just gonna... I just want to hold this boy and just shake him! It's like... Ah! <laughs> Jesus, dude, Tatia! Did we make it out? So Kandori's dead for real, for real. I kind of wish Kido was with us to see that, though. Wait, Tatsuya! What exactly are you hiding? Can't you tell us by now? Please, don't get involved with me. <clears throat> You're literally family. <laughs> How can you not be involved? <laughs> hey, do you know that your brother is saving money from his paycheck for you? Baleful? Hey, Katya's freaking out. Hey, how did you know that? <laughs> Baleful Giga Chad, what the fuck? 
He had Nanjo Kun research you. He really hates to lose. Oh my god, get out of here. <laughs> Amana went through a lot just to see you. She was even marked for death by a joker because of that idiot there. Haven't you done enough all by yourself? I'm not your little brother. What? What the hell do you mean? You are my brother, no matter what! Easy there, Su Suoni. If I talk, will you back off? What do you- what do you mean? Depends on what you say, right, Amano? Come with me to the Elias. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh fucking hell! Oh god no! You want me to go to the Alea Shrine for your plot dump? That for your plot dumpy? Oh Jesus Christ! I don't want to go there. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I have I have magazine sweepstakes to take care of. Um, Jesus. Uh, relative judgment decides true value. Whether Suo's secret is important or not can't be decided until we talk to him. Amano-kun, let's hurry. Oh. Wait, Tatsuya's with us. But like, not in the party officially, but like... Oh shit! Right now, there's nothing to say. He's like with us, though, wherever we go. Makes me it makes it seem like those deja vu boy days were such a long time ago. It wasn't really that long ago. I'm not ready to listen to Tatsuya's full story, bro. I'm so not ready for that. Did I win? I won the sweepstakes! And another winner! Oh my god. I am just winning out the ass here. Let's go. Give them to Bayo. Oh, man. Wait, I, I'm so sorry. I know I really want this plot dump, but at the same time, Tatsuya's here with us. I really want to go to Leia Shrine, but like, I want dialogue. I want dialogue! <clears throat> Did you want to say something about my savings? Oh my god. No, you can do what you want with your money. Nobody saves money for family these days. Jeez, you're a fish out of water, even though your GQ looks are in, in right. Leave me alone. Oh my god, Tatsia. He's not only a cop with intelligence, he also values family and has tenacity. Sergeant Suo, you're admirable. Shit, dude, shit. It's, like, not something you make fun of him for, though, you know? Like... I would never make fun of him for doing that for his brother. Like, if anything, that's super, super sweet. I can't believe he actually does that. And I love the fact that Beofu is the one that, like, 
researched and like hacked into Katsuya's life, man. Uh Oh no, he's staring at the lucky cat statue. He knows. He fucking knows, man. They the inflation. Tatsia, d please say something about the inflation of the of, of the lucky cat statue. You remember in Innocent Sin it used to be 100 yen? Yeah, it's a thousand. Y please comment on it. Okay, that's kind of a comment. I bet the change he's referring to is the inflation in the lucky cat statue. So like, you know what? That counts. Suo seems as if he does not want to be here. Let's uh, let us make haste onward. Impossible. A normal high school student shouldn't have any business here. Did you just call your brother a normal high school student? That Suo talks as if he knows all about his younger brother, but isn't that ignorant? Besides, he's not normal, right? Ba -ba. Ba -ba. Duplicate skill cards. Interesting. More magazine sweepstakes! Holy shit! Hold on, I'll be right back. I gotta go to the store. Oh, Jesus, more gambling. Oh, God, my money. I got the third sweepstake, guys. We're fucked. Oh, I want the plot by my magazine sweepstakes and my dialogue, man. I gotta, I gotta get it. I'll, I'll put in like one or maybe 6k into the lucky cat. Tatsia's judging me. Look at him. He's literally staring me down. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Please don't judge me. All right, dialogue, double slash, let's go. Before we get plot dump. Holy crap. Um, 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 hi. The truth cannot be obtained here, let's go. Is he really gonna talk? Well, I guess he's not the type to lie. I think our paths are about to diverge. No, I just felt that way for some reason. Oh, no! No, 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 please! Please, Nanjo! Don't say that! Please, please, don't leave me. Wait, if you're leaving me, I just gave you, like... Didn't I just give you some good shit? I'm gonna take the equipment off of you, man. Don't leave me. <laughs> I will threaten you by taking away your shit. Don't leave me! Why is Tatsuya avoiding me? Oh. If this is where my path cross with, crosses with Nanjo, like this is where we diverge. I'm chasing down even more dialogue now. I'm getting every bit of Nanjo that I could possibly get, okay? That is Tatsuya Su Suo-sama. This is the first time we actually meet. Just as sources say, he has a very strong will. This is a place that became a weapon shop through rumors. Originally, it was Tatsuya who started the rumor about the anti-Joker emblem, right? Has Arizawa kun forgotten that? A kid shouldn't be in a place like this unless he wants to be a cool guy like me, but you're still not gonna get to drink. He knew the place became a weapon store through rumors? He even knew that rumors became true. Miss Amano, he is still a minor. I do not feel it wise to bring him to this kind of establishment. No, I am not being tense. Yeah, Nanjo, I believe you.
beauty spa at a time like this. It's great you try to be your best, but it doesn't have to be now. I'm doing it now, bitch. I can understand the way Tatsuya feels. How about it? We should get going. Oh my god, they really want me to go. What am I supposed to do here? I, I don't know! <laughs> oh. oh, I can bring him to the velvet room? Ooh! Igor and them should know about the other side and about me. Perhaps that Kandori still had something left to do, but I don't know how Tatia is related, though. They even resurrect the dead to get what they want, those bastards. Kandori, I thought you were not a fool who drowns in his, own, his, in his own ambition and ability. And are you telling me to walk out of here? Just can't understand that, Kandori. He's our enemy, but he gave us weird advice. And then he just died. Talk to Igor. A reunion crossing time and overcoming the power of fate. The wish to make the impossible possible. Humans are a wonder. Mm. Alright, that's all of that. Uh, we went to Kismet Publishing, Sumaru TV. I don't think this is the time to be sitting around. Oh, come on! I'm just like, Tatsuya's in pain. Oh my god, I'm chasing all this dialogue down and Tatsuya's just sitting here in pain. I'm an asshole! I'm an asshole! I think we better hurry. This whole cast just wants me to get my ass to Alea Shrine and I just cannot get myself to do it. I am so sorry. Like, I know I am, like, Captain Asshole right now, but I cannot. I, I cannot do it. I'm so sorry. Hey, Tatsuya, this is my bedroom. It's the same in this world. What's wrong with Tatsuya? He hasn't been saying anything. Does he feel all right? No, he's pain. He's in pain. Your brother's in pain. Was this room just too much for him? Have you ever let Tatsuya-kun in your room before now? You haven't, right? How is he so familiar with your room? Oh, God. Ugh. Was there a fire here in the past? Was it this, this this feeling of wrongness? It is most dangerous to cause panic now. It must be better if we have everyone in the station go out in the city. <clears throat> you don't plan to interrogate him, do you? He says we'll talk. Just do what he says. Since Tatsuya Sudo is in here, this place is all right. Has Tatsuya Kun ever been wanted? Sorry, something's wrong with me. Oh no, they're still talking about Katya having the shits. These girls, man, need something else to gossip about. <clears throat> look, look, Tatsuya, we're just taking a slight detour. We'll get to Alea Shrine, I promise. We're just taking, you know, I'm taking the scenic route. Did Kandori actually know from the beginning that it was going to turn out like this? Thought that we would arrive as well? Still have a bevy I still have a bevy of questions. I don't think I've ever like heard that before. That man named Kandori knew it. His existence about me, knowing that he That kid is just as edgy as his brother. He he ignored me when I called him. <laughs> This weight is killing me. The weight is killing me too. Like I want the dialogue in Alea Shrine. I promise you. 
but I cannot pass up the opportunity that I have right now. And knowing that Nanjo is probably leaving my party, I cannot just let this go. I have to, I have to live through the pain as well. I wonder when it was that Tatsuya became like that. It's partially my fault for not teaching him otherwise. That fortune teller, she was a rumor monger on the other side, so she's not on this side. Keystone. I should have investigated in Wang Long more. That way, I might have been able to protect the other seals. We don't need to have a fortune told. Why does Tatsuya-kun try to dodge us so much? Tatsuya-kun is Detective Suo's brother, right? I just don't know. Tatsuya's in pain? It's okay. I mean, what difference is it now compared to before? Like, Tatsuya was in pain this whole fucking game, dude. There is no difference. He was in pain before, and he's in pain now. He's just in a perpetual state of pain. Health foods. Speaking of which, I wonder if Yukino-san is still worrying about it. <laughs> Lately, many women wear contacts instead of glasses. I thought about it, but no, glasses suit you very well, actually. They don't have any herbal medicine here. I tend to use that more often. The guitar version is pretty good as well. That is Satomi Tadashi for you. Ha, 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 ha. This touring must be the eternal punishment. Look, Tatsuya will be fine. I really can't get used to this atmosphere. First off, I feel out of place here. I don't know about everyone else, though. Kandori is aware of his existence, but why is he aiding the New World Order? Can it, can it be he's willing to be a pawn? Kandori-san? Was that the un undersea ruins? What happened? Did Kendori-san... He died. I see. I can't think that he was really a bad person. That's why I wanted to talk to him again. These kids, man. These fucking kids. Why do they have so much faith in Kandori? You're a kid. Be realistic. Hate his guts. Want him dead. God, how are you people like this? You and Nanjo! Amano-kun, could you report about Kandori to Sonomura? Oh, you can't do it yourself! Oh, Nanjo. Oh. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Did you tell Sonomura-kun about the undersea ruins? If you haven't, do so, please. I did, I did! We're gonna go tell Kido as well. Hey, I killed your brother! Ha ha ha! I'm just such a nice person. I'm just gonna go straight up to Kido's face. <sighs> Chikarin is even a rumor monger on even on this side. We are brothers after all. We can understand each other to an extent. What is Tatsuya afraid of? Strange kid, can't tell what he's thinking even if I try to, when I try to sympathize. He has a subconscious mind barrier. Tatsuya knows that kid? Maybe he's kind of well known. I hear from Sergeant Suo that he was Miss Sayako's student. Such a coincidence. Oh, that's true! Right, because you don't know that. But you know Miss Sayako. Tony! What does Tatsuya have to say about Tony? Promise me, in exchange for explaining everything, you'll stay away from my case. Oh, No, I'm not promising anything, asshole. I love you. I say asshole very endearingly. Tatsuzo gets away, the seal gets released, always at the last moment. Punishment, that damn Tatsuzo. Does he think he's God or something? That boy's mind seems to be heavily set on only Amano-san, but it's not like they are acquaintances, right? That brat knows something we don't. I hope that will be a clue about them. Alright, we left Tony. Wait, maybe I- wait, I'm sorry. I didn't say hi to Tony himself. Hi, Tony! 
You in the red clothes, you're cool. You're chillin'. But you look kinda pale. What's wrong? <laughs> Tony's such a bro. He cares about Tatia. Oh, Tony. What a bro. <laughs> he cares. He cares. I don't really know Tatsuya's friends, but I believe he was acquainted with that Anna girl. A non fattening candy, huh? She wanted it. Ah! Aww. Look at the smile. I think this is the first time I've seen, like, a slight smile sprite on Tatsuya. Unless I missed another one. This is as much of a smile as we've ever gotten. Tatsuya kun just told me about a good diet food. He knows someone who knows a lot about that kind of stuff. Wait, he smiles? I mean, that sprite was a slight smile. When I think about it, that kid seems a lot like Suo. Guess they're brothers after all. Where did Sergeant Suo learn? Uh, why did I just say that? Oh my god. Uh, learn to use his persona so well. One must have a certain amount of experience to become like that. Bikini line. The reason for the kid, that kid chasing Tatsuzo seems to be different from that of Suo's. Of course, it's just a hunch. I confuse Suo for Kandori and vice versa. I wonder why. But why is Tatsuya after Tatsuzo? Does he know about father? Or is there some other reason? I wish we'd met at Sevens. You would have forgotten the entire thing. Baby. You're killing me. I should do this alone. God damn it. I fucking like. I just need to like put my hands on the sides of his head like this and shake him and be like, You are an idiot sandwich. And he's like, I am an idiot sandwich. <laughs> Before Tatsuya would have frequently come here, but now, what has happened to him? Let's think positive! lay a shrine and it must just be a coincidence have you ever been to where tatsuya kun mentioned before i wonder what I, why it has to be there where is tatsuya going to tell us why do we need to go to a place like that let's go to a Leia shrine i promise i'll tell you everything there what's up with nanjo is something bothering him should be no need to come here. Are you not ready to hear what I have to say yet? Your face looks so pale. Are you okay, Amano-san? Smile! Come on! I guess it's not the time for that. That's all Katsuya has to say. Just Katsuya. Uh, 
I'm not the Tatsuya that you know, and you aren't the person I know. Tatsuya, why do you avoid me? What happened that I don't know about? Suo, one of my friends had the same presence. You say he's intoxicated by misery. Yeah, it's not very convincing coming from a drunken middle-aged man. During adolescence, one is always in their own little world. He's probably intoxicated by his own misery. Yeah, just a little bit, don't you think? You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy my next set of magazines. I'm already ready for the next round. Thanks. Thanks, boo. There's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> I'm gonna screenshot this, actually. I'm gonna screenshot this exact picture right here. Yeah, sweetie. Yeah, I believe you. There is absolutely nothing wrong with you. Keep telling yourself that. Next to the American flag, yeah. <sighs> That's the best joke I've ever heard. Tatsuya is such a good jokester, man. I was feeling extreme longing for this place. What happened here before? This is... It's been a while. Tatsukun is still in high school, right? But those... Uh, but look at those sad eyes. Even, a, even an adult can't make an expression like that. I haven't told our parents about Tatsuya. It... it Wait, I haven't told our parents about Tatsuya. It's impossible. How could I describe a situation like this? Tatsuya-kun is still in high school, right? But look at those sad eyes. Wait, I did read that. Man, oh man. We're almost done chasing dialogue. Don't worry, chat. We're in the last place, Rangadai. Gonna stop by Lotus, because, uh, um... Keto should be here. Okay, never mind. Keto is fucking gone. Well, he was here. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't. Yeah, it was this place. He, this is where Keto was. Ah, so Keto left. Of course. Keto has left. I wanted to tell him about Kandori myself, but I'm sure we shall meet again. Why has it gotten sushi shop here in Regadai? Wasn't it in Hirosaka? He's freaking out, man. Tatsuya was really surprised when he saw this gotten sushi. I wonder why. It is a little bit weird. It's just like the detective agency being in a different place, too. But we don't talk about that. The Count can even duplicate skill cards. He's no ordinary man. Alea Shrine, where we... When we were little, I used to bring him there for the festivals, but that was a long time ago. All these years, he had never mentioned that name of the shrine. Kendori's words. Was he trying to discover something about Tatsuya? Or did he want to entrust him with something? I'm concerned about Tatsuya too, but as we speak, the New World Order's plans are already set in motion. There's no time to screw around. Yeah, chat, stop screwing around. I know y'all are just sitting there screwing around, twiddling your thumbs, and bad guys are doing bad things right now. Please, just leave me alone. I wonder why Tatsuya Kun avoids you so much, Maya. Do you think it's his way of showing affection? Oh, sorry. Just kidding. I seem to have special regards for that Tatsuya. Why? As you grow up, even brothers get issues they don't want to discuss with each other. But there is something unusual about him. Suo's eyes remind me of him. Kandori's eyes. I don't know why I feel that way. 
Well, that's interesting that Nanjo can feel that. Because they mentioned that Tatsuya and Kandori both have this power by Gnarly given to them. Which power, I guess, is this is like an undefined thing. So... The only thing they have in common is Gnarly. But what does that mean? Like, why can Nanjo just sense this? It's interesting. It's painful to see their death twice, Kandori, this time veritably very well. Tatsuya seems so different. It's not like we get along great, but something feels different. Kandori, was he trying to tell me something? Didn't go to Beowulf's hideout. I wonder what Suo's little brother is hiding. I'm curious about it. Maya, are you okay? You look so pale. Is it because Tatsuya Kun is hiding something? Ellie! What is that? What is it that Tatsuya knows? The nervous face he makes when he asked about it. Miss Amano, any ideas? Is Mr. Beofu really going to pull out of this incident? Whatever Suo's reasoning, reason for fighting is, I cannot quit after coming this far. Yes, Amanaku, Tatsuya? He tells me nothing. I wonder what Tatsuya's hiding from us. All right, that's the last place I could have gone, guys. That's it. I have to go to Alea Shrine. I really do not want to, holy hell. You know what? Just in the case that I become depressed after this, because I have a feeling I'm going to go through some shit. Um, I'm going to do a giveaway right now. I'm going to give away one of my codes for Finding Paradise. So if any of you guys would like... Um, sorry, my brain is everywhere right now. Um, okay, for those of you that would are interested in a switch code an na switch code so you have to be in the region of na for the switch of finding paradise uh it's the indie game that we played like a month ago it just got released today on uh mobile and switch on unity engine so if you would like a copy of finding paradise just type in the chat paradise All right, there we go. Good luck, everybody. Sorry, I like I would do this. I was thinking about doing the giveaway after this plot point, but if I'm like really depressed after all of this, I'm probably I'm not going to be in the mood to do this. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this is the time to do this giveaway. This is a North American switch copy of Finding Paradise. If you're not in NA and you have a North American friend that you would like to gift the game to, you could also do that, but... All right, I'm gonna roll in like 10 seconds. I don't wanna hold up too much here. I am very much dying to go to Alea Shrine right now. <laughs> uh... All right, let's roll it. Are you here? Make sure you say something in the chat. Make sure you shoot me an email if you're here. Oh, there you are. Perfect. Make sure you uh, go to my business email and be like, hey, I won the code. Don't forget to email me, please. <laughs> I keep getting winners that forget to shoot me emails and I can't give you a can't chase you down. So thank you. 
All right, I do have one more switch code to give away. I'll do that at the end of the stream, okay? All right. Oh boy. The other problem is if we go to Alea Shrine right now, that's where the rest of the cast is. So like Lisa, Akichi, and June are also there. Uh, okay. Here we go. Okay, they're gone. What's so special about this place? What's wrong? She's gonna remember. Tatsuya-kun! Tatsuya-kun! Tatsuya-kun, can you hear me, please? seen that part of it? Oh. Deja vu again, Namonokun. You have it too. The memory of the other side is inside Mayani. Maya, what did you see? That can't possibly be. This shrine hasn't been set on fire. I used to bring Tatsuya here when we were little, no doubt about it. In this world, anyway. Say what? I'm going to Mount Iwato. What? You didn't- you said you were gonna explain here! This is like, the ultimate debate. You said you would explain there. This bitch. I cannot believe that just happened. For real? I gotta go through this dungeon. <laughs> uh, I am going to murder you myself, Tatsuya! Explain right here. I'm not going further into this dungeon. This is where your unconscious memories lie. Come, if you don't mind your past exposed. Oh, come on! No! Oh! Uh, you are number one on my shit list, mister. I'm going to kill you myself. Holy hell. This is so not cool. This is so not cool. This is just really not cool. I'm pissed. This is it. This is the eternal punishment. Exactly. This is the eternal punishment of the game. If you die, it's your fault, and maybe you shouldn't suck. Oh, it's just Ulala. Oh, 
Oh god, he blocks everything. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Guys, this is going really well. Think positive. Nanjo is still with us, but he's going to be leaving us very soon. That's for sure. He even said so himself. To these enemies? Oh boy. Uh, I'm just so mad. I was like, I was daunting going to the Alea Shrine, thinking I was gonna get such a big plot dump only to have to go to the freaking mountains again. This game. This fucking game. Persona 1? Oh my god. Wait, that's Noya! Oh my god! Maki, aren't Brown and Mark here yet? Yeah, they're still as Miss Psychos. Yeah, yeah, bleh. You could started crying and it's all a mess. Oh god, old Nanjo Sprite. Old Nanjo Sprite, holy shit. <laughs> me today is my last day there just won't be enough time this school holds so many memories but you're going away to england that's so far away yeah we won't be able to meet but the distance amidst us will never change right <laughs> why do they call him boy with earring You didn't spread the rumor! I thought you guys spread the rumor that Noya was in this game! You didn't spread it hard, hard enough! <laughs> Damn it. Meh, 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 meh. The rumors were true. The rumors were half true. They didn't call him Noya. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wait, no. I was gonna I was gonna make the joke of like, oh, maybe it's Kazuya, but like <laughs> that he doesn't have an earring. So <laughs> that's how you tell them apart. So it doesn't work. Hey, let's make a pact. If our dreams come true, we'll meet again. That's a splendid idea. I'll one day be the number one man in the world. Promise me you'll have a great dream, too. Aw, oh, the handshake. Yeah, I promise. His friends never learned to bo bother to learn his name. I think Noya just spoke more than he did in Persona 1 altogether. <laughs> That's right, we made that promise. Until now, I don't think I truly understood what it means to be number one. 
The path that I will take will not be easy, even if I know in theory my emotions, the time I've spent with you didn't allow it, didn't allow. And so I may have subconsciously wanted to escape from myself, K. Nanjo. But now it's different. I will do what I think is right as K. Nanjo. This is the power of the spring. If you're gonna turn back, do it now. I won't stop you. Uh, Winking, thank you so much for the prime gaming. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the emotes. Best friends are really great. It's always better to have one true friend than ten fake ones. True. Meh, meh. Friendship that knows no boundaries. It was good to have seen it. Your names there, kid boy with earring. What a loser, am I right? Thank you for the hundred bits. I might have gone off track again. It is you who opened my eyes. What a truly great man you are. Aww. Aww. It's so sweet. What? Oh, okay, that was so weird. Ancient sun? My stomach just had the most insane growl. Sorry if y'all heard that. <clears throat> Here's what? Glad you didn't hear it. It was pretty fucking loud. Maya leveled up. Oh, we finally got diamond dust. Oh, hell, hell yeah. Dang. No. Okay. I got a revival bead. Nice. Goddamn cursed creeps. What's with this school? What did I do to deserve this? Serves you right for coming to sevens with a cuss high emblem on. What? Okay, back up. This whole thing happened because you summoned that joker. So take some responsibility and do something about this. Now you cross a line, buster. How was I supposed to know at the time what would happen? And what's with all this big talk? You're just an undie boss who pervs on people by yanking their pants down. You freaking undie boss! That's rich coming from you. You're a freaking white girl, but you talk Japanese. When you're not spouting nonsense words, do you even know what country you're from? Maybe I should give you a name you can understand easier. You're Genko from now on. Oh, no. This, why did it come back to haunt me? Like, why did this just come back to haunt me? I don't, I don't understand. I hate this game. This game is the worst Persona game. No, you don't. You're not saddling me with that lame nickname like that. We used the Master Joker, who was said to make dreams come true, and became targets of revenge by the Joker. 
While we were looking for the principal who was said to be connected to the Joker, Myony appeared before us. We decided to go after Joker together. What are you talking about? Amanakun went to the school to investigate the Joker curse murders? The principal's murder was what actually happened in his office. You still don't understand? When you saw what you saw was a glimpse of the other side. It's a memory of a reality unlike this one. A different reality. I'm from that reality. That's why I'm not the Tatsia that you know. I'm just using my body from this side. Within, within is the me from the other side. Oh, that's interesting. I did, okay. So that... Uh, uh, okay. That's just his body of this side, but with the soul of the other side. This is nonsense. This isn't the Twilight Zone. A different reality. Is he from a parallel dimension? But I, I doubt the boy is lying. You gotta be kidding me. What the heck is going on? I just don't get it. to kill Maya's SP is going down pretty fast now. Imagine that. I came prepared, though. I have to be careful with Maya. I can't just keep spamming diamond dust. Oh, Jesus. I hate fish. Why am I fighting a fish? This little bitch. Blame Tatsia? I can't blame Tatsia for anything anymore. I, I would just get depressed for doing so.
I don't want to fight this guy. Isn't this the pit shit from the first game? I think I remember this. I shouldn't go down here. Yeah, I'm doing no damage. Uh, I don't want to do physical attacks either. I'm too lazy. Yep, we have to go back up. I'll actually do something. There. <laughs> I decided to not be lazy. Oh. I know there's pitfalls around here. Why am I getting beat up by a fish? It's a fish. It hurts, damn it. You goddamn brats. You did it to me again. You and that woman, too, and the goddamn dad of mine who locked me up in all the freaking mountains. I'll kill you all. The Joker used to be the leader of the secret organization, the Mass Circle. Tatsuya Sudo was a key member. They collected people's hopes and dreams as energy, planning to fulfill the Oracle of Maya, the fall of humanity. We found that out we found that out through fighting key members of the mass circle, Sudo, Hana Yoshizaka, and Genji Sasaki. So then what? Are you saying that Amano's visions are all memories of a different reality? Are you saying that Amano kun and Tatsuya Sudo came from the same reality as you? That's not quite true. Sudo was try truly a person of this side. He was just told by him of the existence of the other side and was be only being used. So what do you mean? It's not like Maya, ca Maya came from that world either, right? Why does Maya only have the memory of this other side? None of us have it. There are many reasons. 
I don't think you should know anymore. Idiot! As if we could back out after all this. If you continue, something bad may happen. I have a right to know. Don't suffer by yourself! I literally fucking hate you! I'm going to shake you! Ah. <sighs> okay, so Maya is still Maya, right? We've known each other since high school. The Joker was in another world as well. What exactly happened on the other side? You're saying you're, it's the same as Sonomura. I want to think that it's not possible. Him? Who could he be talking about? Gnarly. It's complicated, Katya. Do you, can you do any tricks? No. <laughs> I really don't want to talk to you either, bitch. Uh, I don't know. How did that work? Tatsuya listening to Green Day. He's listening to every emo music under the sun that's physically possible. Linkin Park, I don't know, System of a Down, Green Day, American, what is it, Idiot? Like everything. I, there's so many bands out there. My Chemical Romance, Evanescence. Oh, Evanescence is a big one. All American Rejects, thank you. That's you. That's the one I'm thinking of. Nazi, you had that all this time? It's ticking. It had been stopped ever since that day. We promised to protect Onichan together, forever. A and I... Nemophilia, nemophilia flower. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Tatia. Oh. The Joker was my former best friend, June, who was being manipulated by false memories. No, it wasn't only June, Aikichi, Lisa, Mayani, and me. All of us. We were all friends playing Mass Circle, separated by Pseudo's arson ten years ago. Mayani taught us the importance of dreams. Forever, the five of us all together, we all believed that. But Mayani had to leave town for family reasons. We couldn't bear that, so we locked Mayani in the shrine, and then Pseudo set it aflame. My thought, my, we thought Mayani had died, so we were scared, and each of us suppressed the memory. June remembered that and became a Joker, controlled by him. He tried to end the world in exchange for the ideal evolution. His story. It's just like what we're going through, don't you think? Who is that him that controlled June? His appearance with that was that of June's father, but crawling inside was completely different. Crawling chaos, Niara Lathotep. 
He is the being that stands opposite to Philemon, the shadows that the shadow that lurks deep within man's heart, toying with destiny. Oh, they stand opposite each other. I kind of missed that conceptually. Okay, so that might explain why Philemon is like fading. Is it, he's like a faded figure in this game? Because Anyarli seems to be like if they're supposed to be like balance, if they're supposed to represent the balance, like yin and yang kind of thing. Nyarli definitely has like way more power right now. And that, yeah, that would explain Philemon. But I don't understand what that, how that ties to like the situation going on though. Because Philemon was the one that reset time for us. So why, if, if like, if Philemon doing that from in a sin, sin to now, why would he reset time knowing it would come at the cost of his own power though? It seemed like there's there seemed to be an agreeance of some sort there. So th there must be something going on elsewise. Okay. He wants to bring the same chaos to this side as the other side. The new world order is just one of those pawns. What do you mean by causing the same thing to happen? You'll find out. They already know. They're destroying the world, tipping it off of its axis. Gnarly, it wasn't merely Kandori's persona? The ideal collecting mass circle and the Kagari collecting new world order, huh? There's always sounds right. The situations are similar. The being that stands opposite to Philemon, the archetype of existential destruction? Is such a thing, if such a thing does exist, it is well beyond our comprehension. The shadow of mankind. There's a boss behind the New World Order, and that guy's in each and every one of us? Each and every one. Met, 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 met. Tatsui tried so hard and got so far. In the end, it didn't even matter. That's true. I had to fall to lose it all. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. We are like ultimate emo boy. enemies but not those ones has playing the role of a father made you soft gnarly I think now you should know better what I said You were right that these humans may make for a good test cases. What is he saying, Philemon? We are the sources of people's souls, incarnations of the collective unconscious, divisible from one another. We have watched man's stri strivings for eons. I lead those with strong hearts, and the crawling chaos drags the weak into the abyss. I lead those with strong hearts. All of this is to ascertain if man's souls, riddled with contradictions... Okay, yo, femboy, can you please chill? Please. You, you got deleted earlier for the same thing. <clears throat> riddled with contradictions as they are, can evolve into something whole. You are showed that potential. If there were more like you, Man could someday reach a perfect state that understood its purpose. Everything. This is all part of your experiment. You should know you should show much more respect to me. 
The best he can do is watch, but me, I'm different. Oh, you know what? I thought that was weird before, but it makes more sense if it came from him. Oh, that's what he meant by that. Tatsuya. Oh, it's so nice to see him talk. Hurry up and forget about me? Don't be ridiculous! How could I ever forget? I'll grab it. You taught me. I'll grab hold of my dream. Anyone has the power to achieve their dreams. Your namesake deluded to the end has been sacrificed. The dream is fulfilled. And out of respect for that, I'll grant you the dream of destructions that you humans always wanted. Do you remember now? What happened after that? Maya, with the name of Maya Okamura, died. Okamura. Uh, the prophecy fulfilled. The world destroyed. Leaving only Sumaru behind. In the world of the collective unconsciousness where we fought him, strong beliefs become reality. By resetting our meeting ten years ago, we created another reality in exchange for the truths and memories until then. Up till then. So that's this reality. Mayani told us to forget uh, told us to forget about her, to accept everything and move on. But we couldn't stand it. That's why we made this reality to trade for our memories and we escaped here, hanging on to a faint hope to remember. A hope that like, that couldn't happen. My friends that meshed in this side forgot about the other side and, and each other, but I... That's why Amano and that June kid don't remember about the other side. No wonder we natives of this side don't have any memory. But that could change. He said that I was the paradox. This reality exists on the concept of resetting the memories of us five. If we all regain our memories, the distortion between the two worlds would grow, and this world will cease to exist. I don't want Mayani to be involved anymore. I'm sure you understand now. Please stay out of this. What are we talking about, Sarazawa? What were we talking about? I don't know. Shouldn't the adults be the ones uh, fooling the kids? No. It's about adults taking responsibility for children's actions. Oh. You tricked me. Oh, Maya crying. <laughs> Dummy, look at you. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, I understand. Please don't get mad. <laughs> oh, they're crying! Guess my work here is done. You're surrounded by good adults, boy. You had better appreciate what they do for you. What are you gonna do? No, I don't know. I'm gonna walk a path that I believe in. I'll do it all I can to end the chaos in the city. If we're both still alive, let's knock one back together. Wait, 
no! We've wasted so much time. We better hurry and catch up with Tatsuzo before it's too late. Kandori and that woman said that bastard headed for Torafun. How can we find it? They created Torafun with a rumor. So if you follow the rumor about the underground, you should find it. No! I was this close to crying, man. Thankful that scene ended where it was. Uh. Where did they go? He's been fighting all this time by himself. Nanjo left us. It's okay, guys. I'm gonna go chase down Nanjo. Don't mind me. Ugh. Nanjo! We got Tatsia and Katia in the party. Like, hot damn, we got the brothers. Let's go. But, like. upset. Maybe they use the subway to transport stuff? There's food and all kinds of stuff. Who are they kidding? They set that thing up to try to make a rumor come true. They must be insane. Amonakun, are you sure you could drive? Perhaps I should instead. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe we should let Katsia drive. Or Tatsia. No one's talking any about anything. Tatsuya kun, I found some drinks. You want some? Something's been bugging me. Why are you the only one who recalls the other side? Don't have to say what you don't want to. Besides, what I want to know is what are we we like on the other side? Where we we were there, right? Nissan is pretty much the same. Ulala san was scammed by a con artist, and I only know you spread rumors on the net. <laughs> the other side is not that different. Is it hard being an adult? No, never mind. Forget about it. What about you? It's the same. There's nothing good. The pain just keeps growing. Oh. 
Amon, Akun isn't a It's a dead end. Please stop. She wasn't gonna stop. Oh my god. Welcome to the gates of hell. Worry about everything later. You're still young. You've got lots of time, that is, if you stay alive. As a child, I believed adults had strong beliefs and could rule themselves. I wanted to be an adult like that, but as you age, you start to see many things. There are times when you become confused. It's sick to feel yourself being defiled. Time is cruel. It just keeps moving on and on, and before you know it, we all just look like adults. Gotta do this, gotta do that. Sooner or later, it all gets left behind somewhere. All the pain and dreams when you were a kid. I guess we have to walk from here. We can't just go back easily. This is our last chance to turn back. Okay! <laughs> Wait, uh, I wasn't ready! No matter what Tatsuya says, I am still Tatsuya's brother. I will not let him suffer any longer. Seems I was collecting rumors over there, too. <laughs> Woo! Just like Maya's flashback. After all this time, we finally get Tatsuya in our party. And he is OP as fuck. This shouldn't be allowed. Oh! That bitch left his persona behind. You asshole, did I say you could do that? Tatsuya clearly needs more stats. Only 20 levels higher? He's fine. Little bitch. I'm going to see if my magazine sweepstakes are in. Tatsuya there is apparently different from the Tatsuya that I know. I still can't believe it. This hasn't changed. There's no difference from the other side. Oh! Magazine here! Okay, we got three chances to win. We won the first one! Didn't win the second one. And didn't win the third one. One for three. I guess we did. I guess we won something, right? I'm supposed to be happy about that. Like, ooh, I won something. But I don't. I feel like shit. I feel like complete and utter shit. I want to go see if, um... Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. I almost left before submitting more. How could I do that? higher on this side that lucky cat asked for only a hundred on the other side yeah Tatsia I'm glad you noticed I don't go I don't know what the fuck 
is going on? But it's bullshit. That's what it is. This stupid cat. Tatia and those guys must have been using this place on the other side with a difference of 900 yen. Inflation in my fucking video game. I'm just glad that Tatsuya's calling out the bullshit. Because someone's gotta do it. Adults pay a thousand. The old man's suspicious. Are you really gonna just use the rule? Okay, no, he has nothing. He has nothing special to say. Meow meow. That is not true. Adult life isn't more expensive. It's just as a kid, you don't pay for shit. Of course, it's gonna be expensive as an adult. As a kid, what do you have to pay for? Nothing, dog shit. Your parents pay for everything. So like, yeah, no shit, it's expensive to be an adult. You're on your own. I still don't know why I do that, by the way. I don't know why I keep throwing money at him. Anyway, I need to go see if Keto came back. Is Keto back? Damn, where did Keto go? Always so angry. There's nobody here. Let's get going. Fucking Katya. Hate you, man. What is this bullshit? <laughs> 